All right. Who's ready to solve some motherfucking mysteries? I am. I'm kind of ready to solve mysteries. I... I don't feel like I'm... <laughs> I don't feel like... I don't feel like I'm, like, ready to stream. It's weird. It doesn't feel like I'm sitting correctly. It doesn't feel like I'm positioned in the right way. My fucking foot itches too for some reason. And all in the entirety of today, I just keep biting the side of my fucking cheek for some reason. Pissing me off. Hurts like hell. So let's hope that doesn't happen during the stream. I also feel like the mic isn't in the right place. What the fuck? It feels off. Everything feels off right now. But we're back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Where we last left off. I can't even I can't even explain where we last left off because I don't even fucking I don't even remember the name of these motherfuckers. But I'm pretty sure this is where we're at, right? And we're still in episode two. I think this is the data. It is. Alright. So, where we last left off with good old Phoenix Wright here, apparently we managed to get the non-guilty verdict for our client here, Ron Delight, and we found out that Look At Me was Mask the Mask. I, I, saying all these names, saying all these names like one after another makes me feel like a goddamn idiot, but whatever. He was actually the great thief, Mask to Mask. As if that wasn't obvious as fuck already. I called it like the moment I saw him, right? So, we got him off the, we got Ron off the hook. Luke is in prison, I guess, I'm assuming. He's serving prison time or something. But, as we were doing that, little did we know that at the night of the thief, of the thiefening, the robbery, there was also a murder that occurred. It happened at uh, Ron's workplace, and we were able to prove an alibi for the robbery that Ron was not the one that did it. But in doing so, we also... We also... Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. We also kind of incriminated him, Right? Because his alibi that we had for the previous case turns out to be working against us. Because now in this case, his alibi is at the exact place and time that the murder took place. So, we're fucked. And this was all kind of a trap set up by Godot here. Who is our new rival, I guess? Antagonist? I don't know. Uh... Apparently, he worked under Edgeworth, I assume, right? I'm assuming that's what happens. He is a uh, prosecutor who is shrouded in mystery. He seems to know me somehow. He also enjoys his coffee. He has over 108 blends of coffee. But whatever. October 13th, 3.02 p.m., Wright & Co. Law Office. Let's get into it. You know, I'm glad we found the urn and all, but poor Mr. Delight got arrested again. Well, supposedly Mr. Delight was in the CO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Jose. I don't buy it. But the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there was Mr. Nick himself. At least, from what I can understand. Looks like you did too good of a job this time, Nick. Uh, well... How about we get started looking... How about we get started... What? How about we get started looking into... Is that... Is that how a sentence is formed? Do those... The started and looking go to... Let me start... How about we get started looking into the... Don't you mean how about we get... Huh. You know what? I guess that is how you say that. It just... It just felt weird saying it. It felt weird reading it for some reason. Well, how about we get started looking into the KB security murder? I don't know why I felt weird to read that. 
I think I'm gonna head back to the Kyrian village for a little while, if that's all right. No, Pearl, don't leave me. You're the little devil on my shoulder. Sure, but why? I'm gonna bring the sacred urn back and have some people take a look at it. <laughs> the sacred urn. Oh my god, how long has it been? It's been like a year or two? And the urn is still just fucking broken and shattered and haphazardly put together. Oh man. And then no one just, no one takes a second glance at it. They're like, huh, I guess. Oh, it's a good idea. I think I'll go with. No, you won't, Maya. You can't, you can't leave me by myself. No, Mystic Maya, you should stay here. I want you two to spend some special quality time together, full of love and happiness. Pearl? Pearl, you gotta stop this. Pearl's so caught up in her fantasy, she forgot there's a murder to solve. Sacred urn was given to Pearls. Now remember, no fighting, okay? She's gone. Okay, Nick. Time, time to get going on this... Goading? Did I just say goading? Wow. Time to get going on this murder investigation. There's one thing I have to note here. Are they ever going to, like... Are they ever going to, like, have a moment, sit down, and be like, Listen... Is Phoenix and Maya actually a thing, right? I mean, don't tell me if they are, but... I'm getting, I'm getting situated in my chair. Don't tell me if they are a thing, but like... At some point, at some point they're gonna have to sit down and say it, right? It has, it has to be like, is this something we're doing? You know? It's too much. It's too much. I can't take it no more. We need to know. Alright. Let's see. What to do, Sacred Urn. Let's talk about the Sacred Urn real quick. You must be relieved we got the Sacred Urn back, huh? You bet. But there's something a little different about it. Hmm? Don't, uh, me. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this. I mean, it took... <laughs> it clearly says, I am, on the urn. And the poster. But the urn we got back says, Ami. Like it was always used. Like it always used to. Oh yeah, you're right. Plus, the vase has pink splotches on it now. Yeah. I mean, what what's the problem now, right? Is that gonna be used as, like, evidence or something? Like, what? what's the problem? It's been broken for, like, a year or two at this point. Now you're worried about it? I'm sure they weren't there before. Maya doesn't know, but a year ago, when the urn was broken, the repairer accidentally turned Mystic Ami's name into I Am. And the repairer was one mechanically unskilled little pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing pink splotches on it. Is it possible that the urn is a fake? The urn is a fake by pretending to be the real urn? What? <laughs> I get. I mean, sure. Isn't that what a fake is? <laughs> like, maybe it just finally got fixed. I'm sure Pearls find out about the one. Uh, what? I'm sure Pearls find out about that once she gets back to the Curian Village. Yeah, I suppose so. Now that I think about it, Maya hasn't been back to Curian Village in a long time. Yeah, Maya, tell me about that. So, I guess people still go to Curian Village to do their training, huh? Yep. If you want to become a spirit medium, you need to undergo severe training. So why haven't you been training lately, Maya? Well, lately I've been thinking of heading of heading to the channeling dojo to do just that. A channeling dojo? Huh. Sounds pretty serious. Whatever is that? If you're going to train, you have to be serious. Otherwise, real real uh tragedies can happen. Is what happened last year still bothering you? That murder in her village. It happened because the power of channeling was misused. When Amiya uses the curing technique, she temporarily loses her own will. 
So, when an especially strong spirit spirit is summoned, the spirit medium can get taken over and even forced to commit terrible crimes. What's worse, in those cases, the spirit medium has no memory of what happened. That murder. It wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but... I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. Sounds like being the master of Kirin is going, is going to be a heavy responsibility. Hmm. I didn't think... I thought Maya would at least went home, like, once already, but... I guess not, she's just been here the whole time. I mean, she's been here for like a whole year? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Am I paying her? Is she getting paid? I don't think I'm paying her. I feel like maybe she just... Maybe she... Where? Wait, if she had, if she hadn't been home, then where the fuck, Maya? Where have you been sleeping? Have you been sleeping in the office? She's been resting on the couch, hasn't she? Why is everybody broke in this goddamn game? This whole entire series, everyone's broke. Well, all the main characters broke anyway. All right, well, shit. Where should we begin? Maybe we can check in on Adrian. The treasures of Kiran exhibit is all ruined now. Maya, I'm sorry, it's just so sad. This was our big chance for everyone to learn about spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer her up somehow. Well, now that we got the sacred urn back, maybe they can reopen it. R really? Sure! Maybe we can label it the urn of, ma of mass to mass desires. That would probably attract a lot of attention. Whoa. That's brilliant, Nick. We could clean up and be filthy rich. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. Hmm. I want to check this. That's probably where the sacred urn was going to be displayed. Yeah, I guess so. Should I put my attorney's badge there? <laughs> Should I put my attorney's badge there? You know, as a replacement. Hmm, I think it's a little too small for that. How about the... Oh, God. Goddamn word. How about the Magatama? Now you're being silly. That's definitely too small. Huh. It's the folding screen of Kirin's sacred writings. But I can't read what it says on it. Really? But I thought it was some kind of important spell. Ah, uh, yeah. My mother read it and taught me to memorize it. I'll be in trouble if I ever forget it. Looks like the Curane Channel in school is teetering dangerously on the edge. Oof. Big woof on that one. A piece of cloth with a ton of finely written characters jammed onto it. Probably esoteric knowledge on mediums. Uh, would know. Wait, what? Probably esoteric knowledge only mediums would know. Here's the title in English. <laughs> 108 ways to save money. Okay, well, yeah, we read that before. All right, nothing different, it seems. Okay, I guess there's nothing here. Wow, this is incredible. This tiny version of my whole village. Hey, I got a great idea. We can make a miniature... Okay, yeah. Nothing different there either. So I guess nothing to check in on here. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright. Hey, Andrews, how's it going? I love, I love Andrew. She's cool. Miss Andrews, what's she still hanging around here for? Um, so, how's it going? What about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that? It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yeah. It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. You're damn right I'm the greatest. Mr. Wright has nothing to do with it. It was Mass to Mass' wife that found it. It wasn't his wife. Shut up. <laughs> it was Ron's wife, not Mass to Mass, because Mass to Mass is Luke. Well, anyways, I'm so relieved. All right. Let me see. Hmm. 
Alright. Talk to me, Adrian. I just heard about it on the news. So that detective was actually the thief all along. Looks looks that way now. It's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Damas to guard the treasures. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey, Nick. If she wants to apologize, you should let her. So, when was it that you hired Detective at me again? About 20 days ago. And, and when was it that Mass to Mass... Uh, fuck, I can't... God damn it. Have trouble... Have troubles? Have problems reading here. <laughs> the troubles are happening. And when was it that Mass to Mass calling card arrived? That was about 10 days ago. So, he sent a calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. I guess that's it then. Detective Abney must have really wanted the sacred urn after all. I guess so. Hmm. Night of the crime, sacred urn. Night of the crime. What? So Master Mass was, uh, murdered someone as well? Well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought that he was here stealing the urn at the time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything's possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. On the night of the thief, on the night of the thief, on the night of the theft, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Abney? No, I couldn't have. After all, he was <laughs> he was hidden the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse of him. His fucking nose peeking out the corner. He claims that he was on oh, that what? Wow. Take a deep breath. Have a moment. Look at the words. Read them. He claims that the way he. He claims that's the way he always operates. That's just what he says so he can have an alibi while he commits the theft himself. Yeah, he was caught in the crime scene photo dressed up as Mass to Mass pretty well. Okay. That's cool and all, but that doesn't really... I'm still confused about the statue. What happened with that? I'm so glad that you got your sacred urn back. Yeah. But there's still something that bothers me about it. What is it? I'm not exactly sure. But somehow the urn that came back seems different. R really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? No. I don't know anything about... Why would I? Oh, come on. No. Adrian. You poor sweetheart. Why? What do you think this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn. It's our very own Miss Andrews. Aww. Come on, I don't wanna... I don't wanna put her through any more stuff. She's been through enough already. I like Andrews. I still wanna know, uh... Wrong button. I still wanna know what happened over here. Like, if he just went to grab... If you just went to grab the urn, why do all the theatrics and stuff, right? Hmm. Alright. Well, I don't have any proof for anything right now. Maybe we can just show her some things. Uh, tell me about... Right when the fountain pen found in Ron's room. I don't think she would know anything. Actually, do you know anything about this security company? Okay, that's cool. Oh, Miss Andrew, I'm so happy to hear you say that. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Camera data. I thought the whole exhibit would be bright- uh, would be brightened up by something shiny and gold. That's why I went to the trouble of borrowing it from the Branch family's training hall. The gold statue is totally cool in my book. It arrived rather late, so I thought I would be able to put it on display. By the way, it looks like the statue was moved on the night of the theft. Do you know anything about that? Uh, no, it certainly wasn't me that moved it. Why is she so flustered all of a sudden? Huh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna have a harder look at that area. Looks to me that it's been dry for several days. There's something suspicious about the paint marks. The bottom left, the bottom left part of it is shaped oddly. 
and it's shockingly pink. I don't see how the color of the paint has anything <laughs> has anything to do with this. Hmm. Check the edge of this. The statue wasn't here when we first came here, right? Yeah, it was right next to the door, wasn't it? Well, if someone moved it, it was probably mask to mask. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't like being watched by Mystic Ami while he stole the urn. Hey, cut it out. You're giving me the creeps. Hmm. Okay. There's no paint on the statue anywhere? Huh. Hmm. That's... interesting. That pathetic looking wooden box. <laughs> That's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. There may be clues on the thief's identity. There may be clues to the thief's identity on it. Mm -hmm. I worked so hard to make that box. Huh? You made this poor excuse for a box? What's that supposed to mean? And I was so proud of it. Poor Maya. Maybe I'd been better if Master Mass had taken the box too. <laughs> Okay, so, what's really interesting, right, that has paint all over it. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm actually confused on this. Because this was there, right, but it has no paint on it, but the box has paint on it. So that means the box was there instead of the statue, but why would the box be outside the room? Did Andrews leave the- did- did Andrews go into the fucking- Did she go into the room and leave- like, take the box and leave it out there for some reason? I don't get it. Why would- Alright. Well, let's- let's try talking to her then. Let's see if we can get anywhere with this. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred urn? D do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court date is obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's that's um true. Maybe it wasn't the same. It could be it could be a fake. A fake. You're the one who said it. It wasn't the same. So that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence that the urn was submitted at the trial was genuine? Hmm. Do I have any evidence that the urn that was submitted at the trial was a genuine one? No? I mean, I guess I can use this because this shows that, you know, it was different. Well, Miss Andrews? See, look, it was a fake after all. Huh? I mean, your evidence is fake too, as expected. Oops, I guess. Wow, that hurt. That hurt my pride. And so I have convinced you, or do you have any evidence that the urn that was submitted at the trial was genuine? No. Outcome, most priceless work of treasure display. I guess he did say he would take the mo- maybe this would work? No? Alright, well, I'm guessing I have nothing on this. Only thing I can think of right now. I'll leave you be for now, Andrews. I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll find something at, uh... At, uh, Look At Me's agency. Whoa, this place is literally crawling with cops. What did you expect? Now that they know he was masked to mask, this must be incredibly embarrassing for him, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make up for for being... for uh, I can't speak. <laughs> I guess they're trying to make up for it by tearing up the place. Hey, I just noticed. Gumshoe is nowhere to be seen. Well, he is a homicide detective. He's probably working on a murder case. But wasn't he in charge of the mass to mass investigation all the way up till yesterday? Well, a murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? 
Wow. She's like, wow, a murder. <laughs> That's way more exciting. He said something like, there's nothing like a good murder case, pal. Points for the quality of the expression. But I'm not sure Gumshoe has bloodlust, Maya. Unlike you, you fucking animal. All right. Let's see what we can find here. Maybe something, something tucked away somewhere. Mm, nothing so far. Nothing so far. I can't even. Hey, you guys. We're investigating this place, so keep your hands to yourself. Damn it, these policemen. <laughs> these policemen are a bunch of sourpusses. Well, Mr. Ace Detective did make complete and utter fools out of them. <laughs> What's all this now? Move it along. The show's over. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to let us investigate. I guess we might as well call it a day for this place and go look somewhere else. Might as well head to the detention center. Master Man's hideout. I already told- I already told you! It's not me! A sad, pitiful whine that tapers into silence. Sounds like they're interrogating Mr. Delight right now. Man, we don't have enough time as it is. Yeah, well, I guess the police are going crazy just like we are. Yesterday, they thought he was just a thief, but now they got a murder case on their hands. I guess you're right. That guard over there looks a bit on edge, too. Come on, we'll just have to come back later. Okay, let's go check out some other places. Huh. I'm getting fucking cock-blocked everywhere. Oh, Nikki boy, Maya. Hey, Desiree, how's it going? <laughs> Miss Delight. All I want to do was help my dear Ronnie. Yeah, but I guess it ended up hurting his case. Don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need your help beating herself up. Hey, Nikki boy, please. Please help Ronnie. He's not a killer, I swear. My Ronnie wouldn't hurt a fly. All right, I'll poke around and see what I can find. Really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so happy. I knew... I knew asking you for help was the right thing to do. I don't know what I can do to help... to help anymore. I had no idea Miss Delight has such a vulnerable side. Hmm. She's not off the hook yet. <laughs> I love her, but she's not off the hook yet. I find... it's kind of... It's kind of weird that it's like... It's like... He's gonna he's gonna get the rap of theft on him, and she's like, "No, here's the evidence to prove his innocence. I did it, right?" And you're like, "Good job, you did it." And she's like, "Now I can blame him for the murder. <laughs> I can blame him for the murder that I did." Hmm. And I mean, where did uh where did they find the the uh, blackmail note? Was found in Ron's room. Oh my god. No, it's not that easy, is it? It's not that easy. Come on. Come on. Desiree, it's not that easy. You can't be the bad guy here. Are you for real? A, she's the only one that knows about Ron's fucking goofy shenanigans. And B, she has, of course she has access to his room, of all things. She fucking lives with him. And, again, she said herself that she's a fucking gold digger, right? Taking all his money. She was gonna take his money and leave. But I guess something might have went wrong? Hmm. Why would she have any reason to murder somebody, though? If she was just gonna blackmail him and take the money, right? Why would she need to murder someone? Was there more money involved or something? I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Desiree. I'm on to you. But first, let me check around. 
It's masked to mask. There's a tape recorder hanging from his neck. Let me see that. <laughs> I'll be taking this crown now. Better luck next time, gentlemen. <laughs> Ronnie used to say that. <laughs> used to say that a happy laugh is a blood, is a lifeblood of a thief. Well, that certainly is happy sound and laugh, all right. Yes, and laughing isn't an easy. Laughing isn't as easy as it sounds. The harder you try, the more fake it sounds. Ah ha 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 ha. Yeah, Mr. Delight really works hard at his craft, huh? Can we check the date that the tape was recorded? Could you do that on old tapes? I think you could. Maybe? No, I don't think you could. Usually people would just write on them, right? It's been- oh my god, it's been so long since I've used a fucking cassette tape. It hasn't been that long since I've seen one, though. I was going through some old stuff that- that, uh, we had. That, like, a uh, family member had or whatever. And it's just a bunch of, like, cassette tapes of music and shit. And I'm just like, we don't have a cassette player, man. We don't got that shit no more. Hmm. What's this? The thing looks vaguely familiar. Oh, I know. It's a fishbowl. Well, I didn't grab the fishbowl. I was looking at the thing next to it that looks like a fucked up jetpack or something. But yeah, the fishbowl reminds me of Magneto. <laughs> Not Magneto. What am I saying? My bad. Mysterio. Not Magneto. Oh, I know. It's a fishbowl. Well, an upside-down one, anyways. I think it's a helmet. An alien helmet. <laughs> straight up. Straight up, just fucking... Just a reference to Mysterio. That looks like a tape recorder or something next to it. I think it's a transceiver. An alien transceiver. Oh, that? Ronnie brought that home one day. He asked one of his friends from work if he could have it. It's a Space Ranger uniform. It's never, I've never seen Ronnie ha happy as... Wow. I've never seen Ronnie happier in his whole life. Oh, man. Now I want one, too. Well, you're not getting one. I wonder if KB Security was in charge of security at an event from the old case. Huh. Got some grappling hooks, a couple of weapons, a sword. Got some mask over here. A couple of personas. It's a bunch of cheap costume pieces arranged inside a nice frame. Look, Nick, it's a fake beard. There's also a mask made out of cardboard. Here, Nick, try on this fake beard. Come on, try it on. Hey, cut it out. Now put on the mask. This is... Are you happy now, Maya? Are you happy at my goofiness? You're weird. <laughs> it's Phoenix the Mask. If you like it, feel free to take it home with you. Thanks, but no thanks. I'll just put that back where I found it. Was this here before? This... There's... Is that blueprints? Is that a floor plan? Am I looking at a floor plan? Is that is that what we're doing now? So Ron received a blackmail later. A uh, later? Wow, a blackmail letter. Huh. Do you think Miss Delight knows about this? Of course she knows about it. She's probably the one to put it there. Well, if she did, I don't think she would be smiling like that. I wonder if we could tell her about it. No. It'd be better. Yeah, I think it'd be smarter if we didn't. I want to see her slip up and mention it herself. But that does- Dude, can we look at that? That's- That's floor plans, man. That's not even a letter. There's literally floor plans. What is that shit? Okay. There's a bunch of books lying here. They're all romantic sounding novels about famous heists and fantastic thieves. Wow. Look at all the books- look bookmarks and notes inside of them. Let's see here. Note. Must remember this thief way of laughing. Very useful. Note. A calling card is an important part of any good thief's modus operandi. It was always Ronnie's dream to become a thief. Well, I guess you can chalk that one down as fulfilled. I wonder why Mr. Delight... Oh, God. I wonder why Mr. Delight never talked to his wife about it. Yeah, well, I think she deserves some of the blame for not bringing it up, either. Hmm. What about this scuba gear? Nick, it's a torpedo! It's hard to believe, but it sure looks real. 
Uh, where could we where could we have picked up something like this? Please don't say that if it's t Please don't say that as if torpedoes were things people could just leave lying around. Huh. Nothing else? A little bike here. Some little seagulls, I guess. It's fucking dynamite down here. There's a whole bunch of stuff piled up over there. What are these rolls of paper stuck into the trash can? The theft of the what? Theft of the Marazri Oh god, I can't even say that word. Mazarin stone? That's how you say that? The Great Albatross Strategy. Theft of the Immortal Goddess Statue, the Great Knuckle Bomber Strategy. Immortal Goddess. Did the police even investigate this place? The police took a look at all that, you know. Really? Did they say anything? They said it wasn't important. Oh. Don't worry about it, Nicky boy. After all, my Ronnie is just an amateur. Amateur or not, this is cool. Knuckle Bomber? That is kind of cool. Knuckle Bomber is kind of cool. I do like the sound of that. How cool is that? What I'm more interested in is that it's said of the goddess statue. Huh. I guess that's everything we can look at. Some wigs. Hot air balloon. Oh, that's cute. It's called a hot air balloon, you know? Wow. There's no fool in you, Maya. I want to make my own balloon now. I'll even let you ride in it, Nick. That emblem on the balloon is supposed to be top secret. This should convince the court that Ron Delight is masked to mask. I better not tell Maya. She gets kind of scary when it comes to celebrities. Huh. A little anvil down here. I never noticed that. This is a goofy-ass room. <laughs> So much goofiness happening in here. Okay. Well, talk to me, Desiree. Listen carefully, Nicky boy. My Ronnie would never, ever kill anyone. It's just not him. I don't think he would either, Nick. Yeah. But you have to admit, he's got a bit of a temper to him. It's not that hard to imagine him just snapping and screaming, Please die! He would never say that. Anyways, Mr. Delight, he might not be a killer. But, he's still going around saying that he's a thief. I already told you, that's just a fantasy for him. Miss Delight, I hate to say it, but you're the one living in a fantasy world. Wh what How dare you say that to me, Nicky boy? I know everything about my Ronnie. We don't have any secrets between us. Ronnie isn't the thiefing type. He's so honest that he would even sneak a nap. He wow. That's kind of that's kind of sad. <laughs> he's so honest that he would... <clears throat> that he wouldn't even steal a glance. A thief? <laughs> That's a, that very idea. I guess I just don't get it. Huh? Get what? I just can't understand how they can be so different and yet so happy as a couple. Yeah, they sure are different. Come on now, Nicky boy. It's not that mysterious, is it? It was love at first sight. For me, anyways. I don't think... I don't think Phoenix ever wants to hear the phrase love at first sight anymore. <laughs> also, you're a gold digger. <laughs> like, you're just a fucking gold digger. What? For you? Last time I heard love at first sight, I almost became a murderer. Um... So was it really love at first sight when you first met Delight? Well, maybe not at first sight, but Ronnie saved my life. Go on. Saved your life. I was at work one day when two robbers suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind just to curl into a little ball in a corner, so I fought back. Robbers? Yeah, they took me hostage. I was so frightened. They were both carrying these huge knives and I broke down into tears. Yeah, I would too, if I were in that situation. Oh, I think I get it. Did Mr. Delight come running to save you? Yeah, exactly. I remember he looked so handsome in the guard's uniform. He went right up to those two knife-wheeling robbers and screamed in their faces. Please stop it, he screamed. I could see the robber's face turn pale. 
That high-pitched streak of his does have a surprisingly strong effect on people. Then carry, then crying and swinging his arms like crazy, he attacked the two robbers. All by himself, he came to save me, a total stranger, all by himself. He was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Wow, that's a great story. That's a fucking... <laughs> that's a weird story. Hey Breezy, how's it going? Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> he just came... <laughs> This is extra funny because I started watching the like for the first time ever. I started like really watching the Venture Brothers, and there's a there's a moment where uh, Dean Venture, he just starts like fighting someone and he's like screaming and crying and like tears and snot. It's just spits just coming out of everywhere, and he's like, "Stop being mean!" <laughs> just beating up a kid. Oh man. Yes, he's not. He doesn't look like it, but he's a tough. Uh, but in a tough situation, there's no one better. That's why I fell in love with him like I did. I call bullshit on that. I call so bullshit on that. <laughs> That's romantic. I fall in love too, I guess. Shut up, Phoenix. You fucking idiot. Phoenix fell in love with a murderer. I don't think Phoenix is the right judge of character. Nick, I hope you do. I hope you do the same for me if I ever get taken hostage. I did. <laughs> I did already. With Maya, that's po the possibility always seems to loom in not so distant future. I already saved your ass from being a hostage. Well, technically, she kind of saved herself, right? Or something like that. What really happened again? I can't remember. We didn't find Maya, did we? Who found Maya? Huh. What do we do? I'm trying to remember what happened with that situation. <laughs> I think... Did we trick Matt into, like, snitching himself out? And then fucking the killer came out? And he was like... <laughs> he was like, I got this. Hold my knife. All right. Yeah, but I'm not believing a. Uh, I'm not believing Desiree here. She's like, it was love at first sight. Fucking, he protected me, and I was so helpless. Says the woman who literally ran away from the police the other day. I hate these kind of peoples more than anything. Peoples? Did I just say peoples? Oh my god. Um, you mean Ace Detectives? Nope. I'm fine with Ace Detectives. Oh. So then you must mean thieves. No, they're all right too. I just hate thieves that pretend to be ace detectives. There's really nothing I hate more than cowardly men. You're really like throwing out a bunch of red flags here. You know that? You're just incriminating yourself further and further and further. <laughs> uh, tricked Matt into revealing blackmail. Exactly. By the way, why did you go to Detective Atme's office anyways? Well, as the, as the trial went on, I started to get more and more anxious. I went here, I went there to find, wow, I can't even read. <laughs> I went there to find out more about the real criminal. The real criminal? Yes, obviously, the real mass to mass is not my Ronnie, or not my Ronnie, right? Yeah. And Detective Atme knew more about mass to mass than anyone else. They mentioned him on the Great People Around Town segment on TV. So then you went there to ask him some questions? That's right. I'll do whatever it takes to save my man. <laughs> his sec uh, his security's wait what? <clears throat> his sec oh, God, his secretary that word just like stumbled me. His secretary said the ace detective isn't in right now. But I forced my way past her and into the hideout. I wanna exactly call the office his hideout. That bag was sitting right on the top of the table. Oh yeah, we saw that bag there yesterday too. There's nothing lower than someone who wanted to, who would try to pin a crime on someone else. You're really throwing a bunch of red flags, you know? You're like, Desiree, come on. It's not this easy. It's not this easy. It can't be this easy. Are you kidding me? Mr. Light, 
Do you know about KB Security? Don't be silly, of course I do. That's where my Ronnie works. So, she thinks he still works there, huh? And yet, according to what we heard today... Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. Ron quit. He doesn't work there anymore. It looks like Miss Delight doesn't know. KB Security is only about 20 minutes away, by motorcycle that is. Larry told me it takes 30 minutes by car. Well, I have to admit, I tend to fly pretty fast on my bike. To make it to KB Security that fast, you sure aren't literally flying. Why don't you, why don't I give you a ride sometimes? Or better yet, how about now? As tempting as that is, I don't think I want to hop on a back of a murderer's murder a, a murderer's motorcycle. Mm, no, I'll pass. Thanks. Why do you just why don't you just tell me? Uh, why don't you just tell us where it is and we'll go ourselves? <laughs> what a scaredy cat you are, Nick. Mr. Light told us the location of KB Security. Okay, let's head over there right away, Nick. Hmm. I'm on to you. I mean, she definitely has motive. Like, super fucking motive. If she didn't, like, it would make sense why she would ask for 50 th I'm assuming, you know, what would happen is that because she likes to spend money, his money, probably, because it seems like she doesn't have a job, I guess. I guess she quit her job or something. She would then slowly be running out of money because Ron wouldn't have any money. Then she would blackmail him, but something must have happened. So I guess this is where it all went down, huh? Huh. And the fucking body outline is near the safe. Desiree is, uh, she is not looking good on this one. I can tell you that right away. She has too many red flags. She might just be a red herring. Who knows? But too many, man. Too many. It adds up so perfectly. So I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The wall in here looks thick, just like you expect in a CEO's office. What has that got? <laughs> what does that got to do with anything? Hey, it's you guys. Oh, it's Detective Gumshoe. Today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? Sure was, pal. That prosecutor made real fools out of us. Yeah, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. You only got like one statement in and then they kicked you off the stand. They didn't even ask you for your name or occupation. Wow, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like... Oh, that was great. You guys got what you deserve, pal. Ho 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 ho. Or something like that effect. Do I really sound like that to you? Yeah, kind of. If the gumshoe fits... Mm, well, anyways. The point is I can tell when someone puts their heart into their job. And I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes, I feel like wrong is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumshoe was such a nice guy. <laughs> Perfect impression, Maya. <laughs> Now, if this little love fest is over, maybe we can start... He's like, if you two... If you two are done making out over there, maybe we can get to work. Fucking kissing each other. Alright. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna investigate. Don't worry, Gumshoe. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna check this out over here. This rope. You think it fell out of the safe when it was opened? I don't think so. I don't even think it's rope. So you mean, yep, I think it's start. I think the string shows where and how the corpse is lying. Do you mean the victim? He was killed by being crushed by the safe door? She can be serious. She can't be serious, can she? Hmm. Hey, Gumshoe, what was the, uh, you have a copy of the autopsy report or something? You know, you can tell me. Like, what happened? Detective Gumshoe, tell us what you know about the murder. Um, okay, but the thing is, I'm really not supposed to. But you're going to anyways. Hey, come on. 
What about how we put our hearts into our work? Things are really working against us right now, and we need help. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't start crying on me. <laughs> wow. Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. The victim's name is Kane Bullard. Oh my god. He, had... <sighs> he has like a huge wart on his nose. Oh my fucking... I'm sorry. He was the CEO of KB Security and a pretty big fella in his own right. His corpse was discovered at 9 this morning. His estimate time of death was 1 in the morning on October 12th. Cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head, probably an object in this room. It happened at exactly the same time that Master Mass was stealing the urn, huh? Optus report. Thank you! So, why did it take place almost an entire day to, Why did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Willard's body was stashed away inside that safe. Oh, fuck! Safe? Well, it is pretty big. Nobody had heard from him, and when they opened the safe this morning, he came out. Oh, so the body fell out? <laughs> that white string must have been shaped from when he fell out. I think we still need some more information about this. Maybe you can start by getting the man's name right. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, um, what happened to Master Mask? He's at the detention center screaming like a madman. Investigate me again, he keeps yelling. No, no, no. I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyways, right? Oh, you mean... You mean the detective at me? <laughs> oh, that was great. That guy got what he deserved. <laughs> wow. Word from word. Now that's the detective I know and love. Think about it. Amy was already around when the calling card showed up. But he always mysteriously disappeared when the heist took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was the thief. Oh, like how I said it the moment I saw him. <laughs> I said, this guy looks evil. <laughs> I think he's the thief. <laughs> that would explain how he was able to retrieve the stolen items by keeping, uh, and he keeps bragging about. Yep. He just did that to make himself look like a great detective, that's all. But there's this one thing I can't figure out about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah. The tear of uh, Amana. Oh god, I can't say this. Emon? Em Emnon? Fuck! The tear of something. There was a witness on that one. A witness? Here, I see the newspaper clippings. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. Well, let me check it. Hey, this guard here. Haven't I seen him somewhere before? I haven't. It's pretty small, so kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it... Okay. The guard. Is that... Is that... Is that Ron? Is that Ron? Am I looking at Ron right now? Is that what's happening? Is that what we're doing? Okay. Alright. Oh, that prosecutor. I really don't like that guy. The way he used our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight. Yeah, I think he did that. I think he did it that way just because he knew it hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyways. So, who is that Java addict, mass maniac anyways? Prosecutor Gadot? He's quite the enigma, huh? The thing is, pal, I never even heard the guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office, came out of nowhere. That's right. He said that he was... <clears throat> he said that this was his first case as a prosecutor. And it's true, according to the records, anyways. No way he's an amateur. He's an Iceman in court, a maverick that gives him goosebumps. And I'm a maverick hunter. I got this covered. Goosebumps? You? Yeah. I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. 
Poor Detective Gumshoe. I had no idea you were so unpopular. No, that's not what I meant. Like a doc guy acts like he knows me and has a grudge against me. That's what I'm trying to fucking figure out. I get the feeling he's hiding some kind of dark secret. Hmm. I'm trying to piece this together. I really am. I don't have enough to go on. <laughs> trying to cut dogs here, but you don't want to mess it up. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I guess you can... Listen, I, like, I did talk about this before in a different stream, I think, that I was, like, a makeshift groomer, but I never had, like, any training. I guess you can, uh, kind of, like, it's not to maybe take your fingers, grab, like, grab, like, a tuft of hair between your fingers and just clip that off, right? It would probably take forever, but, you know, it'd be better than cutting it too short. Dot, who are you? Who would have a grudge against me? Well, I mean, who wouldn't have a grudge against Phoenix, am I right? Uh, I'm trying to think if it's someone we know already, but I don't think it is. It could possibly be the father of the... of the girl, right? I'm gonna investigate some more. Ew. Think about it. A dead guy was lying right here all night? Yeah. Oh, by the way, don't bother asking about fingerprints. There were none. Right now, trying to avoid somehow giving him a pull cut. <laughs> oh, shit. What kind of dog is it? Is it like a Maltese? Yeah, and so... Well, if Mr. Bullier's body was hidden in there... It must mean that it was opened by either the killer or the victim, right? Hmm, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I got some bad news for you, pal. Are you ready? Okay, shoot. Opening this baby is no piece of cake. There are only a few people who know how to open this safe, pal. Yeah, and? Everyone that knows how to open the safe had all, had all airtight alibis. I checked. Maltese, Yorkshire, and Yorkshire, I can't fucking say it. <laughs> Yorkshire Terrier mix. A Morky. Okay. Ooh, I don't know how to cut their hair. Can't do that. Hmm. Everyone, ex everyone except one, that is. I'm almost afraid to ask. Former security chief, Ron Delight. What? Ron Delight? He was a security chief? Ron? So he knew how to open the safe, huh? Yeah, sorry for raining on your parade there, pal. Damn it. Hey, Gumshoe. Have you... Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't show it to him. I was gonna show him the blackmail letter. I should keep that to myself, actually. What's this? Check out this big, thick binder here. So thick! Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick. Reading a file isn't exactly backbreaking work, it's just a little hard on the eyes. Oh. What'd you find out, Nick? This file? It's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This used file is all about mass to mass. It's filled with info on them. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods in the crime scenes. Hey, Nick. Look at the last page. It's a list. Let's see. Tier, tier of, I can't even say the damn thing. 100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Mast Mast stole. So then 100,000 is the value of a stolen item? I don't know. That number sounds kind of low to me. I think if, I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. Again, money motive. What does this button do? Oh, there's a button here. Let's see. Hey, cut it out. Don't press that. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I never knew Detective Gumshoe could jump like that. What is that button anyways? It's an emergency buzzer. It says it right there on the panel. 
Oops, you're right. It's written right there. Nick, how many times have I told you to read the instructions first? I'm not the one who pressed it. <laughs> Just try in the morning. More research is needed for this. <laughs> this alarm this alarm's connected to the basement guard room. It's used to summon securities up here. Really? Then it's possible on the night of the crime. Oh, so when the CEO was attacked, do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzard? There's no way he pressed the buzzard. Because if he did, they would have found him. Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down there. But they said that the buzzer never went off last night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. Hmm, I think we better go and talk to that guard about the emergency buzzer. Alright, what about this? It's like some kind of bookshelf rolling cabinet hybrid. Hmm. I can't get in between these two shelves. Don't no strain yourself trying. Looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one shelf at a time, huh? Looks like they're filled with a bunch of files. Yep. Files filled with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. Be a good night's reading if you got insomnia. I was hoping I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting, like UFOs or something. Huh. Ooh, what's on the laptop? Must be CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I thought it would be. Hey, that looks like a super, super soft chair. Let me try it out, just for a second. Ooh, nice. I feel just like a CEO. Hey, you! Whip me up a cup of some real expensive import tea and some scones. Move it! Ah, this is the life. Um, the victim sat in the chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, technically, like, why would that creep you out? I mean, he was in the room before he died, so... What's the difference? Painting. Wow, look at the huge frame photo. Tall mountains rising majestically against a dark and cloudy sky. There's a title written at the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. This is it? This was his best sunrise? Either this guy didn't get out enough, or he just he just really had rotten luck with the weather. Maybe if he had lived a, a little longer, he would have seen more beautiful, more better days. Oh shit! Can we check the the messages? No. Huh. All right, Gumshoe. I think that's it. I don't think I have anything I want to show you. Can't really show my enemy what I have. But thanks for the autopsy report. I'll head out. I guess. Security room. Oh, that's new. Oh, look at this fancy shit. Why do I feel like I'm gonna run into somebody that I know? Wow. This is really... Oh, wait. No, I can run into Larry. My bad. I forgot. Larry works here. <laughs> for security guard's office, sure doesn't feel very secure. KB security guard. Uh-oh, I just remembered. Larry might be. Hey, Nick, what's up? Like, what's up, man? So, he is here. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too. Don't, you didn't, did you have to add the little part? Hey, Larry. Here I was, working my fingers to the bone. And N walks an angel. I got no problem with a day, with daytime date. It's all good. No, that's not why we're here. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you. Really? What is it? Hmm, well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya. But Nick here is a different story. Larry, do you want me to punch you in the face now or later? But Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. That was then and this is now. Hey Larry, remember when I got you off the hook for murder, you jackass? Hmm. Give me the good info. So what's this good info you're talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard, a pro. I can't just give away information for free. 
He wants a bribe. I thought professionals were more, I don't know, honest. Can you talk to Amaya? Larry, tell us already. What's the good info? Hey, I like that. This kitten's got some claws. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, yes. So please tell me. Okay, so the one thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. You follow me? Yes, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on. Well, one year ago, Ron Delight was fired. And there was no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess he must have done something bad to have gotten him fired. Like maybe skipping out on work to, go <laughs> to pick up some hot chicks or something? No, that's just you. So, what is it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me. I get by alright, I guess. First, I have to keep my eyes on those monitors all the time. Monitors? There's security cameras set in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Oh. And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? The security teams for the company. They're supposed... They're supposed... <clears throat> they're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur either, so if I do something... So if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. You don't just watch TV screens. You take out your Switch, play some video games. <laughs> Dude, I know some people who work at... <laughs> When they get on their shit for the security guard stuff, they'll just literally pull out their whole entire, like, console from, like, their car or some shit and just plug it up to, like, a monitor and just start fucking playing Xbox or some shit. And I'm like, I'm like, come on, guys, it's not that serious. You were in the office when the murder took place, weren't you? Why'd you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb. Even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break. Don't try to pin the whole thing on me. It's not fair, Nick. Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. Anyways, the point is, we're here that's... Uh, you were here that night, right? Oh, come on, Larry. Come on! Oh my god, did he pull one of did he pull one of the security guard classics? Did he like <laughs> did he clock into work and like just dro drive home cuz nobody would check on him? And then someone rings him on the radio and they're like, "You're in the base, right?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'm there. I just went to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in no time." <laughs> drive all the way back. Well, it's like I always say, that was then and this is now, okay? It looks like I'm going to have to break those psych psyche locks after all. Hmm. Okay. I don't have any evidence on you yet, but I am curious. What the hell is this? Is that candy? It's my partner's seat. Your partner? Well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. Oh. No. Why? <laughs> um, there's tea spilled all over that machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. It still works fine, more or less. They really know how to build them here, I guess. Sounds like, sounds like what someone did during my time at the Usher. Exactly, right? It's just the old tried and true. You just clock in the work. See, I would never do that, right? But I definitely do bring my Switch and my 3DS. I do do that. Because there, there's a lot of downtime, <laughs> you know? It really fucks up your sleep schedule, too. Um, well, yeah, if I, I know people who would just, like, clock in. They're like, all right, see you later. I'm like, where are you going? He's like, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Like, really? I'm like, come on, man, it's not that easy. If they start asking me questions, I'm a snitch. I'm not getting fired because of you. Hey, Larry, that's your jacket, isn't it? That's right. 
Hmm, did you know you're, you know you hung it right on top of some kind of lever? Yeah, sure. I was told to never ever touch the lever. She scowled and huffed at me. Something terrible will happen if you do. Got it, Greenhorn? So why hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because it got my, <laughs> it got me curious. If the jacket weight pulls the lever down, then what they, <laughs> that's what they call an accident. Doesn't that suspend just- doesn't the suspense just kill you? <laughs> Larry, what the fuck, man? Do you want to know what will happen, huh? Let me guess, the jacket weighed it down. It's true. It's killing me too. What about you, Nick? Yeah, but for a different reason. Are you gonna tell me- tell me, Larry, you son of a bitch. Tell me- tell me about the jacket. He's not gonna tell me about the jacket. Okay. Well, maybe the lever, maybe the lever got pulled down. Is that a silence lever? Is that the silence for the alarm, Larry? Did you silence the alarm? Fucking idiot. Something's written on this poster in fine print. The guards five commitments. Wow, this sounds serious. Let's see what it says. One, obey the superior. <laughs> no one ever does that. Two, respect the superior. No one ever does that one either. Three, smile at the superior. <laughs> Maybe. Four, salute thy superior. No one does that. Buy donuts for thy superior <laughs> upon command. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sully, Sully has stuff in jacket pocket. It increases curiosity. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I can just imagine him just be like, what if I put, what if I put a stapler in there? <laughs> He's just looking at it. He's like, what about like two more pins? I find it super funny because this is the exact type of shit that we would do at my job. <laughs> like, uh, we used to have, <laughs> all right. We had this, uh, I don't know where the fuck it came from, but it was like, like, uh, you know, like the pedestrian on like a fucking, uh, bathroom door or something right like you know just a stick figure guy or whatever so we had like a plush of that for some reason it was all white so someone took a goddamn marker and just wrote the uh <laughs> the guy who's like the main um like the main uh operator of the place they just wrote his name on it <laughs> and then they just put it up in the corner and it says he's always watching you <laughs> And then it got to the point where, uh, where sometimes they would take it, because when the shift changed, <laughs> when the shift changed, one of the other superiors would see it, and he would always put it in, like, the closet or whatever, because I guess he just didn't like it there, or maybe he thought it was, like, disrespectful or some shit, I don't know. He had no sense of humor. So they would always take it out of the closet and, like, put it somewhere different, and then just, like, see if it moves or something like that. Just stupid shit like that. Let's see. It's signed Wendy Old Bags, head supervisor. She's one tough old bird, let me tell you. Cross her and you come face to face with her real genuine ray gun. Oh my gosh, she still has that shit? Yeah, sounds good. <sighs> my fucking god. Did Ron get the outfit from Wendy? Oh god. Well, fortunately, she's on vacation. Yes. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. <laughs> yes. I'm happy. I don't have to deal with it. Fortunately, she's on vacation. All right, let me see. Those screens here show what's going on all over the building everywhere. Besides this, but not the CEO's room? I don't see the CEO's room unless that's it on the top uh on the top right hand side. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them, all of them. I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TV on this too? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. Hey Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it, but you can sure as fuck, fuck put Netflix on one of those screens. And how do you know that, Larry? Because that was my first bit of investigation. If you know what I mean. I don't know what you're thinking. 
I was <laughs> it was a professional investigation, all right. Okay. What's this shit? Wow, take a look at all these things here. Hey, Larry, what are these? Hmm? Did you say, hmm? Hey, man, it's not like I have to know what they, what they do to do my job. I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Yeah, that's pretty much how I do, too. <laughs> I'm like, what do all these buttons do? I can start pressing shit, but it's all connected to other stores, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, boy. How did this guy ever get a job here anyways? Listen, let's be honest. If you're a security guard, you're just a professional snitch. <laughs> That's your job. You get paid to snitch. Over like the littlest shit ever. You get paid to snitch and not do anything about it. Unless someone's getting hurt, you know. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything I can show Larry? Hey Larry, you know who this guy is? Okay. Hey Nick, I told you, I'm a pro. Alright. Guess there's nothing there. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Oops, wrong button. Let's see what you got, Larry. Two of them. The night of the crime scene. On the night of the crime scene, were you working hard like you were supposed to? What? Huh? Of course! Why would you- why would I have been? But didn't you sneak out of work yesterday to go see Miss Delight? But... That was... and that was the... That was... and this is this. Damn it. Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night too? Never! I didn't sneak out. I tell you what, I'll even bet you a dollar. A dollar? Wow, a whole dollar. What's with the drenched and rain puppy look on your face? Do you have any evidence that I left my position here just by pulling my chain? Hmm. Found in the KB security building at around 1 a.m. at the crime scene. This wallet. You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. Liar. You hand delivered that wallet to Mr. Light just yesterday. Give me a break. You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. What time was it when you found this wallet? I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of a company building. 1 o'clock in the morning. That's right. In other words, Larry, at that time of the- at that time of the- wow, I can't even read the words. At the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> there's something you didn't think about. What is that? Let me guess, you had to go to the bathroom. My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. The murderer might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the murderer has snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. Why do I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 p.m. during your shift. Set it yourself, buddy. Set it yourself. Warehouse camera? No. Okay, just making sure if it was like a piece of paper or not. There you go. Larry, when you use this key card, doesn't it leave a record? A record? That, why'd I say it like that? A record? Mmm, <laughs> a record. Of record. Yeah, it does. But I can't show the record to just anyone, you know? That key data was already made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that is supposed to go through me. Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from the part-time guard. Anyways, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was open with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1am, the time of the murder. No way! 
Yes. Someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1am on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Aww. Larry, you can't duck your responsibilities this time. Mm, no. What did you do, Larry? Oh, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault that the boss was killed. My fault. Larry? There was nothing I could do. I have important issues to deal with too, man. What happened that night anyways? Uh, my Donna happened. Huh? Your Donna? I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my Donna called and said, I have to talk with you right away. So I went to see her and he was standing right there next to her. Hmm? Who was? Her new boyfriend. It was like some horrible joke. Before I knew, before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me right in the kisser. Normally, I'm the one that... Do Wait, hold up. When he says Donna, is he talking about Desiree? Or is it one of the girlfriends that we've never met, I guess? I don't fucking know. I'm assuming he's talking about Desiree. So, Desiree and an accomplice. I mean, adds up. Normally, I'm the one that does the punching. Isn't that right, Maya? <laughs> yeah? So, is that why you left the security guard office? Hmm, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. How can I ever make up for it, Nick? What can I do? He he's curled up on the floor, crying like a baby. Oh boy. Nick! Is there anything I can do? Anything? Just name it. Well, tell me, did the jacket fall? Did the lever get pulled? I'll do whatever I can to make it up for it. <laughs> make it up for it. I swear. Larry? Hey, Nick, as long as he's offering... Why don't you show show him the evidence we got? She's right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information out of him. Nick! <laughs> Might be another love interest of Larry's. Okay. Yeah. It could just be Donna, right? Maybe she showed up and he went to the front door or something. Um. Tell me about this. All right. Just wanted to double check. Thought maybe he would recognize, uh... Can you tell me why he was fired? I'm really sorry, Nick. I swear I want to change my ways. But the thing is... I just don't have any interest in men. <laughs> this guy really needs to get his mind out of the gutter. Larry, you're stereotypical... Larry's your stereotypical guy, right? Tell me about... Desiree. That Desiree is one awesome lady, right? It's been a long time since I felt this way. I think I'm really in love this time. A long time, huh? Yeah, well, except for what I feel for you, Maya. Hmm. Hey, Larry. Do you know anything about this file? Hmm, guess not. Okay, so it changed this time. Cool. Hmm, the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right. Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya. Huh? Go ahead, Maya. Press the buzzer in your heart. I promise I'll come running to your rescue like a professional guard I am. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, I'll try. Do you know... <laughs> He's like, I try my best. <laughs> Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. Okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. Okay, wow me. Hmm, I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? You're a security guard, aren't you? Why didn't you come to the CEO's office? Well, this is the third floor of the basement. <laughs> third floor of the basement. CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to, uh, adopt the wait-and-see approach. Plus, there's a police detective here, right? 
I just didn't think it was necessary. That's as <laughs> it's as if he's trying to win the reward for the laziest person on the planet. Hmm. Let's get back to the talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must be a record, right? You must have you must have had a look at it, right? Of course I did, and I can possibly have made a mistake either. Do you think you could take just one more look at it for me, pretty please? Okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. What do you think, Nick? He's probably right. I don't think even Larry could make a mistake like... What? What is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake! Huh? But how? It can't be. It's impossible. Okay, enough already. What about the records? That night, it went off just once in the morning, around 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? That's right, when the, when the murder happened. Really? Are you serious? That's terrible, I can't be. <sighs> Come on, Larry. Larry, come on, man. You guys, you guys really made me reflect on the ways I've been living. But the only problem is, with all this reflecting, where's the time for love? Frankly, I think reflecting is a bit overrated, don't you? What are you going on about? Larry. Plus, do you honestly have any new information, new info on the buzzer? On the buzzer record? Huh? The record? Oh, no, nothing at all. This guy reflects about as much as a piece of black carpeting. All right, Larry. Well, thanks. I guess I, uh... Hmm. Well, I won't tell this to Gumshoe. But maybe I can... Nah. Guess we'll, uh... We'll head to, um... Hmm. Basement agency. Guess we'll head to the detention center, right? Nope. I don't think... Let me check this again. Let's see. Buzzard. Office. Found table crime. Articles. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think if we have anything for Adrian. But I don't think so. Maybe there's something else I'm missing here. How do I, uh... How do I head back to fucking, um... I think I gotta go through... This hideout? Excuse me? CEO's office. Hey, Larry. Can you tell me, by any chance... Whoa! Who's this? Alright, I think I did this already, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Making sure. Open that. She doesn't... know much. The CEO of our company, he was a pretty good guy. Huh? Really? Yeah, you bet. You know how I'm not very good about working hard, right? Yeah, I kinda noticed. Well, guess what the boss said to me about that? I don't expect much work from you, Larry. In return, just don't expect much pay. I see. I guess he had to follow some kind of dumb law about having securities here in the building. So in order to pay the lowest wage possible, he went to the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> to be honest, I really looked up the boss. I really, I really looked up to the boss. If I ever grow up to be a CEO, I want to be just like him. Don't worry, Nick. I promise I'll hire you for security. God damn it, Larry. God damn it. Huh. I think that... I think that's all I can do, really. Hmm. So, was this the card that was used to culprit last night? Well, going off the serial number, then yeah. This card is used to open the CEO's office door at 1 a.m. in the morning. Your client had this card, right? Then it's a no-brainer. He's the killer, man. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's it. 
guess that's everything. Maybe I can go over something with Gumshoe? Hey, Gumshoe. Take the Gumshoe. Tell us more about Mr. Shane Bullard... B Bluebird? What the fuck? I, I got... I stumbled... <laughs> I stumbled there because she didn't even say the right name. So I thought I was fucking it up. That's Kane Bullard, not Shane Bluebeard or Bird or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah. The victim in the case just doesn't make much of an impression on me. Well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyways, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry. I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just babbling like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick. Now's our chance to get more information about the victim, so hurry up and ask. Know anything about Larry? Detective the gumshoe? What about this person? Sorry, pal. To be honest, my head is full right now. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, why did I go to move? My bad. Can you tell us more about Mr. Bullard? He was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it anyways? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullard must have had a chance to learn a lot about secrets, a lot of secrets during that kind of work. Oh, hey, Greg. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Oh, and... I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grubber. Really? Me too. I just love money. I can't get- can't ever get enough. <laughs> Fucking Maya, you klepto. Doing fine and Danny, that's nice to hear. You stop leading in towards me like that. Right. Am I paying Maya? <laughs> you aren't getting to my wallet. I don't think I'm paying Maya. She's been with me for a year. Anyways, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his billions. Billions, my bad, I said millions. He's not that rich. Oh, so that's my problem. <laughs> so that's my problem. I need to be shiftier. Let me go already. Apparently he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Oh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Yeah. Oh, KB Security used to head security operations against Mask to Mask. What? Really? Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, the company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bullard who sent Ron the blackmail letter, huh? Hmm. Need to catch up on the streams? <laughs> I mean, if you have time. I can't expect everyone to watch everything. It's a lot of... That's a lot of time. <laughs> well, I guess so. I mean, I do play them, so... Eh. All right. Wait, so are you, are they, wait, hold up. <laughs> are they saying that the one who sent the blackmail letter was the CEO? What? Blackmail letter, if you don't, try to be revealed. Receive the other day instead. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. What? Hmm. Good question. What's your first impression on on Godot? My first impression, well, my first impression is fucking forget about Godot. That fucking music, A1. Amazing. I love it. Now, Godot, yeah, he's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He's cool. I don't know much about him, but he's cool. He didn't have to throw the coffee at me, though. That's not because of me, though. It was an abuse to coffee. I like coffee, too. You don't see me throwing it at my enemies. The guy's a real puzzle, if you ask me. Maybe I should be asking you. Do you know anything about him? Why would I know? Why would I know something? Well, it sure sounded like you two knew each other from the way you acted today. Mister Godot and acts like he knows Nick, not the other way around. Exactly. You think I remember someone like him? I feel like he might be like he might be related to someone that I put in jail or some shit. I don't know. There's got to be something about it. Hmm. Okay. Now, maybe I can go to the, um... Maybe I can head to the detention center now. 
Where, where's the detention center? Guess I gotta go through the office, huh? There we go. That's what I need to do. Oh, Mr. Wright! M Mr. Delight? Did they finish their interrogation? Yes, but, uh, please don't leave me alone anymore. Mr. Delight, you lied to us before, didn't you? W well, uh, you see. On the same night as the sacred urn, same night the sacred urn was stolen from Lordy Taylor's department store. A blackmail letter you got summoned you to KB Security to hand over some money. And then there was the CEO, Kane Bullard, was murdered. But there's only one Ron Delight, am I right? So the only question is, where were you that night? This time I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Okay. Oops, wrong. There we go. So that night, you didn't go to Lordy Taylor, you went to KB Security, right? Yeah. I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail note said I should. Alright, what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used the key card to unlock the door. It's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was there. Someone? Aw, oh, no, come on, man. Gumshoe says different things about Godot in different cases when you press him on it. Oh, that, that's going to be fun. That's going to be super fun because no one's reacting to my attorney's badge anymore, and that makes me super sad. <laughs> then suddenly they bash me over the head. That's how the sword got broken. Oh, shit. Was it Kane Bullard that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to my senses, the sight I saw left, my, left me speechless. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me. I thought I died myself. Anyways, I thought I should do something with the body. Don't tell me. So that's why you put it in the safe. Oh, come on. Why? Why'd you touch it? Yeah, that's right. Idiot. You fucking moron. Dead body. Might as well stuff it in the safe. Make me look even more guilty. I used to be the chief. <laughs> wow. I used to be the, the chief on one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay. And what did you do after that? Well, I got the fuck out of there, for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in the building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Nick. All of a sudden, Mr. Delight kind of sounds like the murderer to me. Please don't say that. God damn it, Delight. What the hell? So what's with the, the mask thing? Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you're masked a mask? Isn't that what I've been saying since yesterday? That was a quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get it's starting to get irritating. But listen, Mr. Delight. At the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? <laughs> Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worth my bad. Unable to find a rival worth my genius. I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic, the tragic clown. But the sword was in Lordy Taylor, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Internet died on you. That's fine. I don't expect everything to be perfect. Um. The sword was found. See, well, I'm going off the silhouette that we just saw because it looked like Luke. And. Oh, shit, you're right. Hmm. I mean... Alright, hear me out on this one. Yeah, hear me out on this one. Right? I'm not gonna lie, his wife Desiree looks really shifty to me. Right? And we all know Luke is the thief. But... I don't think 
Luke is the one who took the treasure at this point. Could have been someone else, because we caught him on camera, but we didn't catch Luke. We just caught someone in the outfit. Now, with that said, I'm assuming that the box that had the urn in it wasn't... For some reason, it was near the door where the paint is at. I still don't know why the hell that's there. Right? I'm still trying to figure that out, and we need some clues to get to get some idea from uh from Adrian. But definitely right now, those two could have teamed up. Actually, they might just be doing the long play right now, to be honest. Maybe there were multiple to mass that day. Exactly. And I would assume uh, Desiree talks about. Uh, whatchamacallit, Ron being delusional about his identity bullshit. Maybe, right? I'm assuming this is Ron in the fucking, in the clip. And he probably looked up to the mask after he saw all this shit. Probably got hit on the head with the sword at the CEO office. And maybe he, ha maybe he has a little bit of personality problems right now for getting bonked on the head so hard. And maybe that's why he thinks he's the mask, because maybe he overheard something during his unconscious state or something like that. I don't know. Hmm. But I need to I need to prove that the urn is a fake. I guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Of course not. After all, you were at KB security at the time. So then the person dressed up as Master Mask in the photo. It's gotta be Detective At Me. I don't think it's Detective At Me. Mr. Light, is it true that one year ago, you were forced to quit the KB security? Oh, uh, how'd you know? I'm begging you, please don't tell Desiree, please. She'll leave me. I don't have any more money. Don't worry, I haven't told anyone yet. Phew, thank goodness. Uh, no, um, but I suppose I'll have to tell her sometime. She'll find out eventually. She probably found out already. Why have you been hiding it from her anyways? Desiree would, dis would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. His hair's kind <laughs> His hair has mine in its own. His hair reminds me of fucking, uh... Princess Leia. <laughs> right? He's got the swirls, he got the cinnamon buns. I love it. A criminal? A thief? She'll never forgive me. My marriage would be over. I see nothing but red flags for Desiree, right? She will never love a criminal or thief, but she loves danger, and she loves criminals and thieves, but she hates cowardly men. But somehow she's married to him. She's a gold digger. Straight up. <laughs> mask to mask isn't a person, it's an idea. A criminal and thief? She'll never, uh, she'll never forget me. My marriage will be over. I think your marriage over already because you're broke. Knowing that, why'd you become a thief in the first place? Because Desiree spends money like it's water. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money. Well, it's got to be one of the worst defendants ever. Uh, I don't know. Earlier in the game, Phoenix was kind of making me kind of... I kind of wanted to punch him in the face a little bit. Not gonna lie. He's like, but I love her. She's not a murderer. So, he became master mask for Desiree, huh? Okay. So, can you tell me about this newspaper clipping? Hey! This is an article about my debut heist! Boy, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, there was a- they were hot on my trail. But Master Mask, he must have gotten away, right? Oh, my bad, that's Maya's line. Master Mask must have gotten away, right? It says in an article that he disappeared. That's right! I got a sudden burst of inspiration. I hid my mask to mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket. Then I quickly changed into my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, huh? Wow, awesome. Hey, hold the phone. The guard in the photo. Is that you, Mr. Delight? <laughs> That's right. Nice trick if I do say so myself. Talking about Dahlia? Yeah, I'm talking about Dah Dahlia. Maybe she isn't a murder. Get the hell out of here. Get out! I cast you out. I mean, she isn't a murderer. She poisoned a dude. And then she killed the dude. 
And then she tried to poison another dude. She's a fucking serial killer. <laughs> nice and easy to figure out. Even pros could see through that in a heartbeat. But you might expect Detective Abney found the disguise. He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. More like Ace Defective. Detective Abney found the masked mask disguise. Hmm, that's interesting. Yes, and I heard that he brought brought it home with him. That's interesting. So that's it. That's when Abney got his uh, got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got I got a chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time consuming, huh? Yes, it took quite a while to complete. Anyways, found. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh no. But Dahlia, pretty, she is pretty like a flower. She's also the Black Dahlia. <laughs> uh, now my Wi-Fi is acting up. Oh, that sucks. I try to keep the uh, I try to keep the bit rate as low as I can, you know, for quality, but also so people don't have a hard time streaming it. Damn. Uh, fuck. So hear me out here, right? Hear me out. Peep this one, like, peep this one. Fucking... Ron is Mask the Mask. It's just that he's such a fucking loser that he failed the first time. Then at me, took the costume, got the idea to pull off other heist. Right? And then maybe, maybe since Ron made a second costume, Desiree must have found out or something, borrowed the costume, so she can be the one at the, uh, at the, uh, whatchamacallit? At the fucking museum, or whatever the hell? While Atme's too busy beating the shit out of Ron, <laughs> pinning him for murder. But why murder the dude, right? If they're after money, why not just do the thief, the theft? Like... Like, at me and Desiree have to be working together. There's no fucking way. But if it's just money, why not just steal shit? Hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yes, yeah, so it took quite a while to complete. Anyways, a few days after that, I received the first of the blackmail. The first? Blackmail letters? Plural? You got them st you got them starting when? Tell me more. Hey, calm down. Don't get so worked up. What the fuck, man? So you were saying there are three Damask? Yes, I'm assuming that Alright, here's the thing. Ron is the original Damask. Luke probably took the idea from that. Maybe pulled off some uh some heist. Maybe somehow Desiree got involved or something, because she... Desiree probably got involved. Because she's all like, listen, I know my husband's Damask, and we can do some shit. Right? Oh my fucking god. What is this trial? This blackmail letter, is, is this the first one you got? No, of course not. But this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So, did you start start receiving blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the tier of I can't say that word. Amin Amin on, Amon 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 fuck Amon on I don't know whatever. I stole the jewel. The first letter is said I know you did it. So someone found out about your true identity just like that. Yeah, it's not easy being a master thief, you know. Oh my god. Hmm. This is fucky. This is fucked up. <laughs> I've got proof that it was you, so give up, it went on to say. So in the end, I had to give up the treasure I went through all the way to steal. Is that right? Hey, hang on a sec. Do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box, the letter... You put it in a fucking deposit box? Are you, you, dude? It's not that easy. Someone sent me ten thousand. Oh my fucking god! 
What? But that's just a hundred thousand. No one said anything about me being worried, you know. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. Plans? I'm not saying that he's involved, but Godot is scary as hell because he knew about... He is! Exactly, right? Like, the moment he said, Ah, you fucked up, right? I was like, what are you talking about? And he's all like, there was a murder. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. You made me incriminate my own fucking defendant. God damn it. So, recently, we went to his house and I looked at the corner on the fucking... I looked at the blackmail letter that was there. And I saw what looked like a floor plan or blueprints of some sort. So is that the heist plans he's talking about? What are these plans you're talking about? There were instructions on how to steal a crown or painting or some other rare treasure. They showed security blind spot. It was a floor plan. It was a floor. It was a fucking blueprints. God damn it. Escape routes and even suggested training methods. <laughs> He'd be playing 5D chess. <laughs> So, you meant that the one who planned the heist wasn't you? No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Sounds like... Mi oh my god. Okay. So, look at me gets the idea. Then look at me gets hired to protect places or something, or somehow, somehow they manage to scope out the place, and that's why it takes them a couple of days to write up some floor plans here and there, then they send it out to him, and then he goes and does the robbery. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. So Ron Delight was the mask after all. But, someone else is behind the thefts? The, the thefts? Why I say it like that? The thefts? Someone who planned them all out in detail. You gotta give it to him, it was smart as hell to play dumb. <laughs> smart as hell to play dumb, exactly. Now, I'm assuming Desiree's the one who puts the blackmail letters there because they say that, it says that it's found in his room, and I mean like, who else would be in his room besides his wife? All I had to do was deposit the treasure I stole into a safety and safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in the mail. Could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So, you went after the sacred urn because of one of those plans too. Well, see, truth is, I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions to steal what was I what I was told to steal. So you stole the box. And you didn't look in the box. Mr. Delight? Is everything you told me the truth? Yes. But please don't tell Desiree, okay? Mm -mm. Ron, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Y yeah? But please don't hurt me. Mr. Kane Bullard, do you swear that it wasn't you who killed him? Yeah, of course. I can never. I'm not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe. But then I was afraid he'd discover what I did. They discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Mm, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I have an alibi, right? Damn. I guess so. You're really clever. I called that shit earlier too. I guess I have no choice. That's why he was pushing so hard. He's like, "No, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Please stop." I'm guilty, it's me! I did it! I'm not gonna tell Desiree. I don't want to tell Desiree because I want her to slip up and say it herself. I want her to say something that only people who did the investigation would know. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delay on his word. Mystic Maya! Hey! They just let the kid walk up in the detention center? We can do that now? We, that's, a, that's allowed? I'm back. Hey, Pearls. So... <laughs> What have you been doing this whole time? The sacred urn, Mr. Nick. I took it back to Kyrian Village and had it examined. And? What did you find out? 
Well, there's no need to worry. They said it's the real urn. Phew. That's relief. I was really worried. But there's one small problem. Problem? Um, these cute little pink splotches. They said it's paint in that they were put on the urn recently. Where? Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We gotta find out how they got there. That's the big deal. They let her walk in, walk to her village. Yeah, but they're weird. <laughs> they're weird. They're a weird village of mystic mumbo jumbo people, right? <laughs> they're just like, oh, let the kid walk around. She's mature enough. She's fine. Her mother's a fucking murderer. Who cares, right? <laughs> but like, you know, we're in a big city. Yes, Mr. Nick, I gotta find out. Uh, we gotta find out how they got there. Okay, okay. We'll go find out how they got there. Please don't forget about me. Oh, trust me, I won't forget about you. Hmm. <laughs> the girl's a bit too much in the pit. <laughs> exactly. Alright, so while we're finding out about this, I think right now is a good reminder that if you guys have BTTV, that you can use some emotes from that if you want to, right? And also, if you don't have... For those, for those who are looking forward to the emotes that are going to be made soon, I recommend that you get BTTV because one of those emotes is definitely going to use that. They're just scared of Pearl Patine's powers. Exactly. She, walk, she walks in there. Like, the moment she gets on the fucking train by herself, she just puts on the cloak. Puts on the dark robes. Alright. So now we can go talk to Adrian. Uh, here we go. The exhibit. Oh, Adrian. Sweetums, darling. I love Adrian. I just don't want to press her. She's been too much. She's been through too much already. Oh, Pearl, how nice to see you. Hello there. I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been doing? What have you been up to? She's been, she's been getting ready to ruin your fucking day. That's what she's been ready to do. Well, actually, I was having the urn examined. <laughs> oh, I see. Maybe if we take another good look at this urn, we can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, <laughs> let's look around one more time. All right. <laughs> Fuck, now I gotta draw that. Oh, don't worry. It's already been taken care of. You ain't gotta draw nothing. But if you want to, sure. <laughs> if you want to, I would greatly appreciate it. More, more Pearl Patina for everyone. She's just sitting there. She's the devil on my shoulder. She's like, do it. Do it. Kill him. Do it. <laughs> All right. Adrian. The Sacred Urn. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? D do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was the urn that was submitted before to the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Urn? Did I just say urn? My bad. <laughs> well, that's uh that's true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be a fake. A fake. You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that's, so that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any proof that it's genuine? Of course. Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article. Pearls went back to Curian Village and had it examined. I is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how... What she discovered was that the urn had been broken again. D did you say again? Yeah. It was broken once a year ago. And now it looks like the same thing happened again. Everyone's just defiling their grandmother's ashes. <laughs> Do it, Mr. Nick. Do it. I never, again, I never understood that part in fucking Star Wars. Like, Anakin's just sitting there with the lightsabers, and Palpatine's just like, Do it. Like, if I was Count Dooku, I would just sit there and be like, The Senator's the, he's a Sith! Don't trust him! 
I would just snitch on him so bad. Like, fuck that guy. I'm not dying. He's evil. Don't trust him. And now, and now it looks like the same thing's gonna happen. And quite recently, too. Recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes, exactly what I'm saying. What do you... What do you think it was broken? Wait, what? Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Because this is what it looked like before. If I can find the damn thing. There you go. This poster. It was made recently, right? Poster? Ah, the poster for the exhibit. At the time when the photo was taken, the urn said, I am on it. But now, for some mysterious reason, it says Ami. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. Hmm. I am? What does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. I wasn't even there when the photo for the poster was taken. And that was a mistake. Now, tell the truth. W wait! For? E even if the urn was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, that's it. It must have been on... It must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. Theron has been broken more times than Maya has been convicted for murder. For real? Oh my god. <laughs> Man. I'm just saying, they're just defiling Grandma's sacred ashes over and over again. Alright, they probably dropped it. I'm sure what ha I'm sure that's what happened. It was like she has... Aw, did it break... Maya, Maya, you put the urn inside the box, right? Was your box so shitty that it broke inside the box, Maya? Is that what happened? Did you make such a shitty box that it just didn't protect it? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Actually, it probably did break inside the box. Let's say she tripped over... Let's say Adrian tripped over some paint or something, and then she dropped the box, and it landed in the paint. And it fucked up the- Ah, Adrian, did you break Grandma's sacred ashes? Have any proof that the urn was broken here at Lordy Taylor? The pink splotches. Oh, really? That doesn't count? Are you kidding me? There's paint all over the damn thing. <laughs> Maya made a wonderful box. Thanks for the follow. How do I, how do I say it? Dumbula. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Do I have any proof? Let's see. Huh. Student directed blackmail letters. I guess I can use this because it's been moved, right? Nah, no. Hmm. I might have to check the, uh, I might have to check the area again. Yes. I'm hearing you. Let's see. Found the shadow of Ami face statue. Looks like it was torn off some cloth. I might just have to check the area again, to be honest. Hmm. I don't think I have... Alright. No. I don't think I have enough evidence. I'm gonna check the area again. Think you need to investigate? Exactly, right? Because I checked this area earlier, but I got nothing for it. Oops, wrong button. Looks like it may have been dry for several days. Switch paint marks. Oh, because Pearl wasn't here. Okay. Yeah. So then the question is, is the cause of the odd shape? Yes. And the cause of the odd shape is this. Alright. Looks like there's some pink paint on it, too. It's definitely the same color stuff on the urn. Okay. Let's investigate again. Cool. There we go. I gotta do it all over again. 
speed up button. Alright. There you go. Uh, what was the second piece of evidence? It was... Was she asking me, Ben? Think it was broken recently? How do you know? Oh, because of, um... This. Poster. Okay. Well, Miss Andrews. Hmm. What is it... <laughs> what is this supposed to mean? This urn has has this pretty little pink. Oh wow, I can't even read anymore. This urn has these pretty little pink splotches all over it, and there's some on the box the urn was stored in too. No matter how you look at it, the paint seems to be exactly the same. What did you say? So what does that prove? That the urn was dropped along with the box. <laughs> That's when they both got paint on them. Is that why she was polishing the urn? Okay. It may not be... But is it still a fake urn, though? You're with me so far? Yeah. The rest of the story is obvious. This box was dropped right here in Lordy Taylor's basement warehouse. If I can prove that, it means that the urn was broken here, too. So, can you prove that? Can you prove that the box was dropped here in the basement warehouse? Oh. Aww. Okay. Can you prove that the box was dropped here in the basement of the warehouse? You're an asshole. <laughs> You're an asshole. Statue. Let's see. No, it's the real. They said it was genuine. No, I'm saying, uh... I'm saying that there possibly may not have been a fake at all. Right? Because, because earlier, um, during the, during the theft investigation, she said she polished it, like, all day, just to make sure it was fine. So maybe, maybe there wasn't a fake and she just, like, put it back together, but this time she put it back together correctly. Hmm. That it was dropped here in the basement warehouse. I really hope I didn't fuck myself over on this and I gotta investigate again. I might have to investigate again, actually. I mean, that shows the... That shows the marking. Yeah, okay, okay. Just making sure. Hmm. If you don't know, you don't know. I mean, yeah. I probably just didn't investigate enough. Maybe I gotta look at the statue again. To like, change the information on it. That's the rule to live by. I know. But sometimes I think three steps ahead of the game, you know? Like I'm on the right track, but I just don't fucking... Don't do things in the right order. That still has a check mark. Check mark? Check mark over it. Hmm. I guess they say they're just keeping the sacred urn. Remember, Maya? Miss Andrew said we're not allowed back there. This is the camera and the computer that Detective Atme set up. That's what he said. And yet they still... And yet he still let me take a picture of him. Hmm. I guess he's not as smart as he pretends to be. The camera belongs to Lord Taylor's. So then why would at me, I mean mask to mask, allow that to happen? Okay, nothing here, my bad. It's like that me said he got hit on the head, hit on the back of the head with this by the thief. But that was obviously a lie. Because it turns out that at me was the real thief, it's still hard to believe. It looks like Adrian feels really bad about it. I'm going to take a full responsibility and fix the sword myself. I know I don't look it, but I have, completely, I have complete confidence I can fix it right up. I promise I'll fix it for you. <laughs> Never knew it was bent in the first place. Please be gentle with it. Okay. Hmm. 
don't want to look at the sign. Well, wait, hold up. Oh, the sign's written with paint. Looks like part of a big signboard. It says Burr. Doesn't look like anything different from what they said last time, though. I got it. Uh, well, maybe it was a typo. Yeah, they didn't say anything different about that. Can I not examine the fucking paint cans? Are you kidding me? Oh, I gotta re-examine this again? Something suspicious about the paint marks. Bottom left. Shape Ollie. Mr. Nick, could it be that it's odd shape as this? If you look there, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. Wow, you're right. Look, it matches. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. Oh, there we go. Cool. We're that much closer to solving the mystery. Alright, Adrian. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta get the other piece of evidence, because people can't put two and two together. But evidence is everything. The problem with this is that I don't... It's not that I don't know the answer, it's that I know the answer, I just don't have the evidence. And I'm like, well, you can use this evidence, because that shows the paint. But I guess the photo wasn't in color, so... You know, that wouldn't really help, either. Having a lot of moments, like, like Justice for All, where they're like, Oh, you're supposed to notice the key has a green jewel in it. Even though they don't say nothing about it in the fucking details of the goddamn evidence. It's like, why should I know that's important? You didn't tell me it was important. Alright. Uh, what did I get for this? The box. There you go. The box. And the paint. Please don't compare just to all for trials. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so far, they haven't done that much different. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Huh. I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yes. More or less. There's pink, there's pink paint splattered on the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. But there's an odd shape imprinted on the part of the paint stain, am I right? Yes. If you put the box into the imprint... In, eh, impression in the paint, you can see it fit perfect, perfectly. Wow. Perfectly. Which means this box was dropped right over here. And that is when the urn was broken. Your name does you justice, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry I gotta be so mean to you, Adrian. Don't speak too soon. I hope... I hope I'm not speaking too soon. I'm so sorry. I was the one that broke the urn. Boy, does this make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher. I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, that's not so hard to understand. Is it, Pearly? No, not at all. I know just how she feels. <laughs> As Adrian was walking, she just had like a vision and Pearl's like, do it, drop it, become evil. <laughs> Step further into the dark side. <laughs> it happened about two weeks ago. Just after the poster, uh, just after the poster photo was taken on the same day, the urn arrived here. I thought I put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. And she tripped. And she tripped. <laughs> uh, I know, but still saying that is... That, that is a serious crime. <laughs> yeah. When I tripped on a paint and lost my balance, the box I was carrying crashed to the ground. I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Fearing the worst, I opened the lid in the bo of the box and that's when it happened. Oh, the broken piece of the urn fell out the box and landed right in the paint. I, I was in shock, and I let out a huge scream. Hmm, I can totally see how that could have happened. 
You know, everyone's just really cool about Grandma's ashes getting super defiled. They're like, I get it. And it's just a fucking vase. Who cares? Well, I knew it was the most important treasure in all of Kirin Village. So I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shards were pretty big. And that's when that's when the I am got changed to Ami. So it got fixed. I didn't know how it was originally written. But any any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said Ami. Any sane person, really? Oh, Pearl? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Pearls. <laughs> How many times did they show this fucking picture of Pearl being sad? It hurts every time. She says she wasn't very good at spelling. Anyways, I put the urn into the storeroom and no one had seen it since then. <laughs> Oh, man. This is like, what, their sixth time showing that photo of Pearl going, I'm sorry, Grandma. <laughs> they didn't mean it. But there's something I don't get. When we first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. The Ami Faye statue? <laughs> Poor Pearl, exactly. Oh, my God first time that we came down here it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen but mr. Nick there was no paint marks on the wall or floor of the warehouse when we came here well there's a good reason for that on the day of the crime around noon that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall and I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains that's why I put it where you first saw it. I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Hmm. But there's still one thing I find strange. Yeah, the sword. What's that, Pearl? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. It was also moved back. At that time, the statue had been moved and the paint was clearly visible. She's right about that. Why was it moved, though? Exactly. Well, Miss Andrews? Hmm, what? Uh, I don't know anything about that. The place is there to cover the paint, so why would it- why was it moved again? I mean, the only thing I can think of is that, you know, either- either Luke or the real Damask or whoever the fuck moved it to hide- to hide the little brooch thing that was left behind. But if they wanted the brooch thing to be found, Maybe they didn't want it to be found, who knows. Hmm. But why would they move a whole statue for the brooch? It makes no sense. I don't I don't get it. Hmm. Placed it there to cover the paint, so why would it be moved again? Well then who was it? Who would have done it anyways? It has to do something with the heist. On the day before the theft, the statue was definitely closer to the door. Then the next day, it was moved, but why? Hmm. It looks like there's some connection between the sacred urn and the murder case. Well, G Gatot, the god, of, the god found it and they could have planted it. Yeah, they could have. Hmm. All right. What do you think? What do you think, Nick? Because that night, the real thief Ron Delight was at KB Security. So then, why did another Damash show up here? A lot of different things are pointing are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeni uh, undeniable fact. The murder trial is starting tomorrow, but. It looks like that that the thief is going to be making another appearance. Yep, there's three of them. There's three of them. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. 
Would you like to save your content? Of course I would. Not planted, it, Luke or whoever could have planted it for it to be found. Yeah, but if they... All right. But if they want it to be found, why would they hide it behind the statue? Maybe, all right, maybe Luke was working with Godot during the investigation. He said, oh, look, I found this. Here, Godot, you should have it for safekeeping. October 14th, 9.41 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby, number four. Hey, Nick, what is it this time? You won't believe how many people are here for the trial. Well, it is a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. What? Next door? What's happening next door? Why don't, why don't you know- wait. Why don't you know this, Nick? They're having Detective Atme's trial today. At the same time? Detective Atme? They say they're going to try him as mask to mask. Why do I keep reading planned as planted? <laughs> Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cuz I'm giving it like a quick glance. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to stop the flow of things that are going on. Very high energy. <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. They said they're going to try him as Master Mask. Already? That was fast. Boy, let's see Master Mask trial. I know. By the way, where's Pearls? I'm sorry. Are we just going to are we just going to ignore who said that? Oh, she went back home. She says she can't neglect her training anymore. Oh man, she sounds more she sounds more serious than the certain someone I know. Crashing on my couch for a fucking year. I know you don't like me. Uh what? Pro Propertine, is that you? <laughs> I know you don't like me. Do it. <laughs> Pearls has really gotten into her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since the incident last year. Please, don't ignore me. <laughs> uh, oh, Mr. Delight, good morning. No one likes me. All right. All right, well, why, why did he say it all sinister like me? He's like, I know you don't like me. <laughs> like, come on. No one would notice me even if I killed someone. Don't say that. Please don't say Don't say that at the trial. Come on, don't be silly. Wait, wait a second. You don't mean you're the murderer? N no. I, I was just a poor thief. No, wait, that's not right. A thief can't really be poor. You sure about that? Look at Robin Hood. <laughs> He's kind of poor. Now, let's see. According to Mr. Delight, from his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending to him to help him commit the heist. Do you really think there's a connection between the thief and the murderer? It's possible. But today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh? How come? Let's just take our time like always. Fuck no! If you're telling me- If you're telling me Atme's being tried next door during our trial, we're fucked. We can't get him locked up again. We, we can't get him tried for something that he didn't do because he's getting tried for being a thief meanwhile we have the thief but he's the murderer come on come on Maya get with the situation court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight the defense is ready your honor you're, you're ready Preparations is the last refuge of the week. Okay, settle down, everyone. Let's begin with your opening statements, Mr. Godot. He's got the judge in his palm. Yet again. Ron Delight is simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> I'm afraid I have no idea what that means, Mr. Godot. Ha! Huh. Then you need to get out more, Your Honor. Life is war. But that's exactly why you must be more precise in your words. <laughs> that's why I got uppity about it. It's alright. It's alright. It was my goof. 
That's all my st uh, that's all my statement means. You understand now, right? Yes. Well then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow, the judge is taking charge like he knows what's going on for a change. The victim is Kane Bullard, CEO of KB Security. His body was found in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the morning of the 13th. Very unlucky for him. However, the time of death was estimated at 1 a.m. of the previous day. And this, and that's when our little lost kitty dropped the ball. That little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Very well then, Mr. Gadot. Please call your first witness. I never drank more than 17 cups of coffee during any given trial. That's way too much. <laughs> but the first one is always the best. Um, Mr. Gadot, your witness? Okay then. Let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, has to say for himself. The defendant? Well, Mr. Wright, does the defense have any objections? Maybe a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, but... I need him to testify. See, might have some kind of superpower, but always understood what Gadot says. <laughs> yeah, he's being cryptic. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross exam. Wait, what? That's a typo. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I looking at here? She allowed me to testify. She. One of the high school teachers always had coffee in his hands. <laughs> she put a lot of trust in me back then. Oh, I guess he's talking about- Oh, yeah, he's talking about Mia. My bad. He just, like, went off track for a moment. Yeah, he's talking about the first case. We have no objections, Your Honor. The defense will allow Mr. Delight to testify. Huh. You got guts, Trite. Godot, listen, I love you. Stop calling me that. All right then, Mr. Ron Delight, please take the stand. You did it, didn't you? Yes. What? Huh? No, 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 that's not true. Hmm? For a moment there, I thought we set the record for the shortest trial ever. <laughs> you did it, yeah, I did it. What? <laughs> Well, Mr. Delight really looks plenty, already looks plenty guilty with the face he's making. And once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably put the last nail in his own coffin. Huh, <laughs> very well. Had four cups already, think I might have a problem. <laughs> that was fast. Um, when I went shopping the other day, I was looking at like the packages of fucking, you know, we don't have any coffee beans here because the people I live with don't do that. So, uh, we have a Keurig machine. And we looked at the boxes, and I'm like, I'm not paying that much for fucking coffee. So I, uh, I have like a bunch of tea in my room right now. I had about like three cups today. It was great. I loved it. If you didn't kill Billard, why did you go to KB Security? What? Well, well, I... That's kind of hard to say. Boy, I wish I could go home. Now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened. All right, don't fuck this up. That evening around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The, ba the blackmail letter I- uh, God, the blackmail letter? What the hell? The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. I'd been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. 1 a.m., the exact time of the murder. The weak was washed away by the tides of fate. The strong drank it up. Huh, it's bitter today too. Just like my destiny. You never know that f <laughs> you never know that from the way he's chugging it down. Mr. Wright, your cross examination if you please. Sure, why not? <laughs> I see no problem with that. <sighs> That evening around 1 a.m. I went to see him in his office. The blackmail letter I got there ordered me to go there. It ordered you to go there? 
It was the first time I've gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Does that mean you've gotten other blackmail letters then? Oh, of course. They said things like, steal this or take that. <laughs> Why don't you save those for later, Mr. Light? Please don't say any more. Now, what should I do? Press harder. So, what did the blackmail letter in question say? It's said to bring 5,000 with me. 5,000. 50,000, my bad. I'm not good with numbers. <laughs> TNT has a lot of time. <laughs> has a lot of typos. You can't think. You can think, oh god. Genesis, it's, I, what the fuck? What is that? HSU for that. Hmm. I do see a lot of typos. <laughs> In the first game, they used to call hamburgers Hamburg. Oh, but wait. Wait, wait. I never intended to pay that money anyways. Oh, is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. An important... An important point indeed. Witness, let's have that added to your testimony. Yes, sir. Huh. A muddy mud a muddy mud skipper in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. <laughs> mud skipper. Alright. The threat didn't scare me, it was going to cause more trouble or it wasn't going to cause more trouble or anything. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyways? The blackmail letter said, if you don't want your des destiny, if you don't want your ID to be revealed, identity to be revealed, correct? I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask to mask thing. But I wasn't worried, Mr. Bullard didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyways, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as my Desiree believes in me. So, that's when Mr. Delight, oh my bad, that's when Miss Delight didn't believe he was mask to mask. That's why I knew there was just hollow threats. They were just nothing but hollow threats. Okay. Scared me. It was going to cause anything. So, I mean, let's do the tried and true right. Got to save before every question because I don't want to get myself in a dead end like I did with the first game, right? Was that the first game or was that the That was the first game, right? Where at the end, it's low, like, you have to choose, <laughs> you have to choose to give up. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but I saved after that point, and I got stuck, and I was like, damn it. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to choose his wife, because supposedly she did not know his identity. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> forget, forget what I did. Forget about that. Hmm. Didn't go so well. Blackmail threat didn't scare me. Wasn't causing any more trouble or anything. Hmm. Well, let's review. Shall we? If you don't, I'll take the red diamond you received the other day instead. This is the first one, right? 1 a.m. Wait, no. She made a lot of mistakes when they translated it. There's two times where she did really big mistakes. It makes you shift your opinion on characters of the game itself. Oh, shit, really? Alright. Well, we'll get to it when we get to it. You can point it out. Alright, if you don't, I'll take the red diamond you received the other day. Red diamond. Red diamond. Found with the fountain pen in Ron's room. Red diamond. What? Hmm. But we get there when we get there? Alright, cool. Let me- Alright, hold up. I'm gonna- I'm gonna press the other shit first, because I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, working for it until a year ago? That's nothing there, so I don't even want to press that. Blackmail letter got ordered me to go there. Evening around with you. What's a- Okay. No contradictions. Blackmail thread didn't scare me. It wasn't gonna cause me trouble. What would cause him trouble the most? Hmm. Second highest was stealing as directed by... Wait. From the mass second highest on, he was stealing as directed. Found on the table of the crime. Oh yeah, said he had nothing on him, right? Maybe this will work? 
Oh, look at me fucking it up already. Early, too. Wow. Let's get all the MacGuffins out the way. You know? Mulligans. Not MacGuffins. What am I saying? There's always, like, one trial- there's always one part in the trial where I sit here and I look stupid. Doesn't have anything on you, what the fuck? This is gonna cause you any trouble. Flashy thief who steals cyber works, sends calling cards for a heist. was found inside safe. What would cause the most trouble for him? Do I have to choose mask to mask? To point out like, hey, it's your identity. Blackmail threat didn't scare me. It wasn't going to cause me trouble or anything. Well, if your wife wasn't the choice, then what the fuck would it be? Found a shadow of Ami face statue. It's torn off clothing. Impress everything, but might be wrong. Do I need more information on that? Maybe I do. The 1 a.m. part might be an issue. Really? Want to see Mr. Bullard in his office? I'll press it, but I don't see any any lie in that. 1 a.m. Huh? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes. That uh, that was my watch. Wow. <clears throat> that was what my watch said when I went entering the CEO's office. Actually, I'm not really sure my watch was slow. My internal clock was also a bit... 1 a.m. That's the exact time the victim, Mr. Bullard, was murdered, correct? It's too late for the... It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. Hmm. When I doubt, press for new info? That is true. That is true, but usually, like... <laughs> the only reason I didn't go for it is because usually with the... Like, in the past two games, when you did that... When you press, like, something that wasn't really telling you a lie, you didn't get much from it. And honestly, honestly, I didn't want to just do what I always did, which was like press every situation. You used to be a security guard chief for KB security, right? Yes, that's right. Security chief, you? And yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge, a perfect motive of murder, wouldn't you say? Hmm, this isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject. Ooh. Life after being fired. Yes. Why was he fired? Well, they said it was for no reason. Don't say anything. Tell me your life after being fired. What did you do after being fired from KB Security? I spent a lot of time looking for work. But then I decided I wanted to start something myself. Not good. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna from back to worse. So I started looking at books, TV, and movie, learning all I could about mass men. Mass men. Sorry, you wanted to try drawing a comic, right? About mass men? No, 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 that's not right. I wanted to become... Your Honor, let's move along, shall we? But you asked the question. You're being quite odd today, Mr. Wright. Way to, way to bring the spinning buzzsaw one, on, uh, one notch closer to your own neck, Mr. Attorney. There wasn't much of the testimony. Okay. Sounds like he's avoiding something, at least. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. We better be careful. I guess I'll just ask him about what happened, right? Press everything is great. Okay. I just, I just didn't want to, like, you know... I didn't want to, like, drag on the trials like I did with, like, the other two Phoenix Wright playthroughs that I did. Because I would press fucking everything. Multiple times. <laughs> Right? But that was mainly because in the first Phoenix Wright game, they did like this double press shit that you had to do, but they never told you about it ever. So the first time it happened, I was like, what? <laughs> I was so confused. Why were you fired? Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well, I stuck my dick in the water cooler. They really didn't like it, but it just felt so good. <laughs> The, wor the world is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. Okay, then I take it back. Defendant, please answer the question. I will. I needed money. 
You needed money. Well, you see, Desiree loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough, so I stole data from the co Oh, what the fuck, man? Come on! KB Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was a security chief, uh, chief chief, chief chief, team chief, you stole some data and sold it? Mr. Bullard found out, and I was fired immediately. What? I wish I had never asked that. I was somehow able to keep it secret and made it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Someone who brings harm to... Was this how much he s what? No, okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, just making sure. I just wanted to check like what the list was again, make sure that wasn't how much he sold shit for. Won't get ahead of myself, but there'll be a point where you should press everything because it's funny as hell. <laughs> I mean, we did that with uh, with Mo, right? From uh, from Justice for All. I'll never forget that. I pressed him. He's like, so there was a what he said. He said there was a. He said he was a fucking. He said it was like there was a rabbi and a Rastafarian or some shit. And I was like, what is he on about? Someone brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You do well to remember that. He sure told you. <laughs> wow, big shot, Mr. Big Guns over here saying the real questions. <laughs> so, you meant that you stole data from your company? Is that correct? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a very important fact. Please add to your testimony. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna... Will I just... Do I just double press that then? It's gonna take Jaws of Life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. Fire me from selling my company secrets. So do I just press the other one now? Because it's not an actual, like, piece of evidence. Didn't scare me. Wasn't gonna cause me trouble or anything. Just what were you saying? Uh, just were you being blackmailed about, anyways? Blah blah. blah. Objection! Objection. <laughs> I'm afraid the reason isn't gonna hold up anymore. What do you mean? The victim had no proof that the defendant was masked to mask, but you were the one who stole company secrets only one year earlier. But, but it was, but that was all over with once I was fired. But it's true that the fact that I stole secrets was kept under wraps. Even so. There was no reason for me to pay up. Now, a whole year later? Hmm. Is that really true? What is it, Nick? The fact that Ron was stealing company data. I wonder if he would have a problem if that ever became publicly known. He definitely would. It would suck for him to get a job. Mr. Delight, I believe you would, you would have been in considerable trouble. If your identity as a company data thief was made public. Uh. Mr. Wright! What are you trying to do? Bully your own client? Shut up, I know what I'm doing, Judge. Huh. Men are like... Listen. Listen. <laughs> Bring it up because it's a thing you need to see. Okay. Listen. At the end of Justice for All, we all, we all came to terms that we need to find our own form of justice. We are prosecutors and attorneys to seek the truth. I take no sides. Except for Maya's and Pearl's and Mia whenever she comes back from the dead. <laughs> Men are like colonies of, ba of bacteria. The more, you, the more heat you apply, the faster they grow. And that's exactly right. Well then, feel free to keep up the heat, my little lawyer amigo. Little lawyer amigo? <laughs> What the hell? Yes, now come on, provide some evidence to back up your assertion. Assertion, that's not even the word, is it? Assertion, my bad. Assertion, what the hell am I saying? Why would Mr. Delight want to keep his data stealing secret from the public? Because, oh wow, I didn't even see how much health I had left, holy shit. <laughs> Oops, who's ready to game over? I am. Because he needs to spend money with his wife. Mr. Delight, what you said just now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been sick, uh, scared, very scared, I was about to say secret, <laughs> of having a certain person find out your secret. 
a certain person. Stop it, Dot. You're making me blush. <laughs> I'm his little amigo. Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. What? Well, but I... L listen to me. Miss... My Desiree, she's... Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly began. Good Dot. Yes, we know. It was all your wife's fault. What do you mean? Mr. Delight stole company data to pay for his wife's spinning habits, for which he was fired for. Unable to face his own wife's, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. And that is how this murder came out. Came about. Oh, hmm. No, everything's fallen neatly into place for him. Don't talk about my Desiree like that. You're all... You'll be sorry. I'll kill you. <laughs> He's a murderer, get him! Well, it seems that we learned a great deal of things here, so far. What do you think, Nick? I didn't think it was possible to get so so thoroughly whipped in just by 20 minutes. Clearly, there was sufficient, sufficient motive for murder. He stole data for his wife, and he killed to protect a secret. A family man who cared just a little too much. The motive is clear. Let's move on. <sighs> what happened at the crime scene at 1 a.m. in the morning, Mr. Light? Come now, tell us. We're all ears. Okay. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. He said something like, I'm the ultimate life form, and then he yelled, Chaos Control! Knocked me out pretty badly. Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead. After that, I... I was hit on the forehead. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons I love Godot so much is he makes you work for him. <laughs> Fucking legend. <laughs> if I hadn't been wearing that, I would have I would have been killed. When I came to, Mr. Bullard was lying there dead. I see. Sud suddenly hit on the forehead, huh? I believe the detective from yesterday pro provided a similar testimony. He said that the mass struck him on the head from behind. Of course, since Atme turned out to be the culprit himself, it was all a lie. Hmm. No one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. What? What are you saying? I really was attacked. Well, we'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. Got that, Mr. Trite? Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any signs that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. How come I get abused in court and no one gets the fucking gavel thrown at them? But the moment I raise my voice a little bit, oh no, lock him up for contempt in court. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Gadot. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. Maybe at me and Ron are the same person. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's impossible. His trial is literally taking place next door right now. <laughs> uh oh. But they are both damasked, though. So technically, you're right, I guess. Make sure we save that game before we get that game over. Alright, when I enter the. Oh, well, fuck it. We're just gonna press everything. Fuck it. What's a suspicious shadow? If they were thousands, if there were a thousand of me, and even one knew, I tell you, trust me. He's dodging all our questions. It's not helping us with this case. Okay, let's see how the victim, Mr. Bullard, at, let's say, wow. <clears throat> let's then. Okay then, how was the victim, Mr. Bullard, at the time? What do you mean by how was he? Was he already dead? Was he still alive? Maybe he was the one who hit you in the first place. That's a good question. Why do you think- What do you think, Mr. Wright? F forget it. He's the ultimate life form. You mean different places at the same time. I am Shadow, the ultimate life form. Alright, let's see. My bad, go back, go back. Suddenly I was hit on the head of four- There you go. <laughs> he said there was a thousand of them. Yeah, he's like, 
Before I walked inside the building, I did Kagano Shino Jutsu, and I made a thousand shadow clones. I'm everywhere at once, you see. Your forehead. Yes, I was hit on the forehead as soon as I entered the room. And then my shadow clone went poof, and I said, man, that was close, and then the real me got hit on the forehead. <laughs> it, was an, it was an amazingly fast and powerful attack. Do you remember anything ab about who hit you? Well, like I said, it was fast and powerful hit. So I think I was a little dazed for a while. I don't think Mr. Delight even grasped what you're asking. Yeah, I'd like to show him a fast and powerful attack myself. Oh shit. And then I hit him with my backhand. Maybe that would... <laughs> maybe that would knock some sense back into him. Or maybe the hit knocked sense out of him. I'm telling you, he's crazy. <laughs> if I had been wearing that, what were you wearing? Were you wearing a mask? That. Could you please clarify what you were referring to? Why? My, ma my mask to mask costume, of course. Wait just a moment. Mask to mask? Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as mask to mask. And then I just... <laughs> I descended upon the office of the CEO of KB Security. What? You heard about the at me fighting style? <laughs> but we haven't heard about the at me jutsu. The at me clan jutsu. It's just him standing there going, Come at me! I'm right here! Do it! Kill me! Nick, did you know about this? He never told me. I don't recall him ever mentioning it to me either. Even I didn't know that. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. I'm sorry, I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait. That's not right. You know how sometimes things just slip your mind? <sighs> My sixth cup of coffee is star <laughs> staring up at me. Oh god, staring up at me coldly. You're already on six? Jesus. At any rate, we can ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please correct your testimony. I've been... <laughs> I've been killed if I wasn't wearing the Master Mask costume. Okay. When I came to, Mr. Billard was lying there dead. When you came to? Yes, I was passed out in the corner of the room. Do you know when your assailant made their escape and where? I'm afraid I don't re I don't really remember. Huh? Once they hit me, I lost all track of what was going on. I think that they... I think that's when they made their escape. Huh. That's certainly a convenient story for you, isn't it? it certainly is. Isn't it, Mr. Wright? Almost sounds... practiced. Excuse me? Motherfucker? How many cases have we been in where testimonies were actually practiced? <laughs> and you never threw the book at, at the prosecutor, though. You just... Like, Mr. Judge, does it hurt to be on your knees all the time for the prosecutor? I just want to know. <laughs> like, come on. I don't know. Why are you telling me? You heard, you heard this from Mr. Delight yesterday, didn't we? There's not much in the testimony either. I bet she's still hiding something. Wouldn't that be a surprise? I just hope he doesn't make any more compliments. It doesn't make it any more complicated. All right, let's see. Entered the office, suspicious, suddenly I was hit on the head. Killed if I were wearing my mask to mask costume. <laughs> I'm having a yawn right now. I'm yawning, that's what I'm doing. Not because I'm bored, just because I'm weird. Alright. I've been killed if I hadn't been wearing my mask to mask costume. I don't. How is. Hmm. Suddenly I was hit on the forehead for a moment being dazed. When I enter the office, suspicious shadow figure. I don't think I would need to present anything for this, would I? I've been killed if I hadn't been wearing my mask to mask. I don't think that would change anything, right? When I entered the office, there's a suspicious shadowy figure. So I was hit on the forehead. Most days. I might just need to press something again. Hmm. 
Fun fact, there's a canon and non-canon. Um, excuse me. I had like a late dinner today. I didn't mean to like burp into the mic. My bad, sorry. Fun fact, there's a canon and non-canon cup of coffee that I drink depending on where you put... Oh. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> that's... That's such an unnecessary detail. <laughs> Oh man, nice to know though. Don't know what it means, but it is a fact. <laughs> exactly. When it came to him, Mr. Biller was lying there. I feel like I need to press like another statement. I feel like I need to do a double press. Maybe like one of these two. Let's try this one again. Your forehead. Yes, I was sitting on the forehead when I entered the room. Remember anything? Well, like I said, it was fast and powerful. So I think I was a little dazed for a while. Okay. I'm just gonna repress those two, because now we got the new information. Wait. Did I not press the foot? Oh, wait, hold up. Did you mean by how... Wait, okay, hold up. Did I not press the new info? I don't think I pressed the new information. My bad. For some reason, that slipped my mind. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Why were you dressed up as Master Mask? Why? Because I... Master Mask, of course. What are you talking about? Master Mask trial is being held next door. Y yeah, I guess so. Anyways, at that time... I thought I was being blackmailed over the mask to mask issue. So I thought I would go as him, just to be safe. Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. That's why it took a lot of longer than I expected. It took a lot longer. What is he talking about? Hmm. What do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught on the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. Wait, what was that? Back that up! He said, whoa, back it up. <laughs> Fast and powerful sounds more like Desiree than at me. Exactly right. But we're assuming the shadowy figure is at me. It could be Desiree, though, because she said it took her, what, 20 minutes to get there? So... And she was pulled over by a cop during the night of the... Oh, wow. She was pulled over by a cop. She's just looking terrible by every second. <laughs> Love the judge. He's like, wait, wait, wait. Back that up. <laughs> Hold up. He's like, back that ass up. Bring it back here. Hold up. What'd you say? You, you were the one that hid the body in the safe? Well, yeah. Inconceivable. Why? Just why? What, what reason would you have? What were you thinking? Question. Why does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? Uh, what? The answer is simple. When they take them off... As usual, I have no idea what you're saying. Do you mean that Mr. Delight hit the body because he's the murderer? Huh. So you're not as stupid as you look. This metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. Wright, you don't mean that you knew about this whole safe business. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? Witness, make sure to add that in your testimony. Yes, sir. Uh-oh, looks like a storm. Look like the storm front is moving over fair weather judge. Oh god. Is it me or is it hot in here? <laughs> Alright, I panicked and I hit the body in the safe. Took about 10 minutes. God damn it, Larry. Really? You were gone for 10 minutes? What? How long was Larry gone for? Alright, hold up. Why did you hide the body in the safe anyways? Well, because it wouldn't fit in the drawer. That, that's not exactly what I meant. When I saw the corpse, I kind of lost it. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it. Huh. I think you had a simpler reason than that. It's because you killed him. 
That's why you spent 10 minutes hiding the body. Mm. That certainly makes more sense. Hold on. 10 minutes? What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body? No, not really. And spend 10 whole minutes doing it? Under those circumstances? What circumstances? Oh. Hey, Nick. If you think his behavior was so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would show just, just what those circumstances were? That's it. I'll take a look at the courtroom record and present some evidence. We heard this from Mr. Delight yesterday, didn't we? It's not much in this testimony either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I wouldn't be surprised. I'll just have to draw it out of him. I just hope he doesn't make things any more complicated. Let's see. Don't want to mix real law with game, but Larry should actually be locked up for this. Yeah! Larry should be locked up for a lot of things. <laughs> Death to the negligence is a real crime. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, I mean... Like, I don't know too much about real law anyways. Like, one of my friends, one of my friends does because he does criminal justice bullshit. But, um... I assume it wouldn't really be technically negligent because it's not like he knew the guy was dying. Right? He just kind of, you know... He was just more, what's what I'm looking for, ignorant, I guess? Rather than negligent? Like, yeah, he's a goofball and he should have been at his job, but I mean, like... It wasn't like he's like, ah, eh, guy's up there, I'm watching him die. I don't care. Right? But I'm not sure. I'm not a fucking lawyer, so... That's why I play Phoenix Wright games. To pretend that I am one. When I enter the office, there's suspicion... Oh, wait, what am I doing? Why am I looking at this shit? All right. What do we have? When I came to, he was lying on the ground, dead. Panicked and hit the body and saved. Took about 10 minutes. <laughs> Same. Exactly. Uh... Under the circumstances... Hmm. The buzzer went off. Yes. Your Honor, could you please take a look at this record? And what might this be? The record for the emergency buzzer that connects to the CEO's office to security. If the button in the office is pressed, a security team is supposed to come running. And according to this record, the buzzer was pushed once at 1.02 a.m. What? If Mr. Ron Delight truly was the murderer, he would, have, he would have ran as soon as he heard that buzzer. After all, the security guard would have been heading his way. Hmm. <laughs> Look, let's remember who was dealing with here. He probably had no idea there was security personnel in the building. He used to work there, jackass. Up until one year ago, my client was working as a chief of security. There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. But, as it turns out, the guard never came. That was nothing more than a coincidence. The fact that the guard was a pathetic loser. Who just happened to punch in... <laughs> who just happened to got punched in the face by his ex-new boyfriend. It wasn't anywhere in the vicinity of... Was, wow. It wasn't anywhere in the vicinity. was not something Mr. Delight could have known. <laughs> Again? Remember who we're dealing with here. It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight didn't even notice the buzzard go off. This buzzard is extremely loud. There's no way he could have ignored something like that. If he had been curious, uh, that is, I mean, curious, my bad, conscious, why did I read it, why did I read it like that? Conscious? What do you mean by that? He was knocked out, idiots. What about objection battle? <laughs> he had a job that he was doing. Might just mix up things, cause English isn't my first language, but the oh, wow, English isn't your first language? Nice, nice job. Uh, but it sounds like negligence. <laughs> um, I think, again, again, I'm not a fucking lawyer or anything, right? I'm not a scholar. Uh, I think ne negligence, it's more like you know what you're doing. 
I think it's like you know what's going on and you just choose to ignore it. Right? On Larry's behalf, he didn't know that the dude was dying. He's just a fucking idiot. <laughs> He's just a moron. Fine, let's hear your theory. It's your third. Holy shit, really? Goddamn, I'm jealous. Nice job. Like, if you can if you can write it this well, right, then I can imagine how well you speak the damn thing. Uh, recall the defendant's testimony. Yeah, Larry isn't too bright. He's just a, he's a fucking moron. <laughs> he's a moron, but he's our moron. Like, he's a total moron, man. Like, look at this girl. She's super hot, bro. <laughs> Come on, Scoop. Check this shit out. <laughs> the moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Light said he felt dazed. I'm willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. <laughs> he's equivalent to Gumshoe. Gumshoe's not the brightest, but at least Gumshoe is competent enough, right? He's willing to abandon his post. Yeah, it's because he's an idiot. <laughs> like, a lot of people have been like, like, take it, take it from someone who works security. A lot of people abandon their post, <laughs> but not out of negligence. Like, it's just like, oh, I'm so bored. <laughs> But me, I would never do that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Unconscious, so he fainted. That's why Mr. Delight didn't know. <laughs> he must have been competent enough to get a position as a detective. Exactly. Yeah, because fuck. Dude. <laughs> the fucking detective, like, exams. They're not hard, but some of them are, like, really crazy. It's like, look at this picture for 10, section, for 10 seconds. And it's like, okay, cool. And then the next question is like, how many of them were wearing red shoes? Like, what the fuck? I was looking at the shoes. Well, you should have been. <laughs> uh, that's why Mr. Delight didn't know that the buzzard had sounded. And that's why. And that's why he thought he had time to hide the body. So what are you trying to say? Mr. Delight was knocked out and the buzzard went off soon afterwards. Now, unless my client was able to hit the buzzard while he was unconscious. It can only mean that there was another person in that room. That's right. Whoever it was, they knocked out Ron Delight and then pressed the buzzer. Order in the court. Mr. Wright, this, this is... This is preposterous. It was the kid. Ron Delight is the one who killed Kane Bullard. Then who pressed the buzzer? It, it was the victim, of course. He pressed the buzzer when the defendant attacked him. He didn't die right away. He must have held on long enough to push that button. <laughs> hmm. So Kane Bullard sent at the buzzard himself. What is your opinion on this, Mr. Wright? Let me see that autopsy report. Time of death. Emerging from blood trauma. It was not instantaneous, it seemed. God damn it. Just in case he asked me to show anything. Right? <laughs> in American law, when it comes to homicide, you have to prove malicious intent, uh, bias of conviction. But this isn't a case of involuntary manslaughter. It's a case that involves manslaughter. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Hold up. But this isn't the case for involuntary manslaughter. In cases of involuntary manslaughter, you have to prove recklessness or otherwise that the defendant was acting dangerously. I doubt Jerry would convict someone... A uh, Jerry, my bad. Jury. <laughs> a jury would convict someone based on they weren't doing their job, especially since neither security nor law enforcement is lawfully required to protect anyone. That is actually true. Because even if you are security, you, you only have the power of civil arrest. You have no authority whatsoever. <laughs> you actually have zero authority. Your job is to be a professional snitch. Why is your, uh, <laughs> what is your opinion on this, Mr. Wright? I need to prove that the real criminal, did I even save the fucking game? Hold up, let me make sure I did, let me sure, make sure I saved the game. All right, prove that the real criminal was there, but how? I can provide it wasn't Kane Bollard, but that sounded the buzzard. Ooh, there's no fingerprints. How would I be able to prove that? Ooh. 
there's no fingerprints. How would I be able to prove that? There's no fingerprints on it. The buzzer went off once at 102. Mass to mass, second highest. Mm. Uh, it's a bit different. And Japan has a bit different, remember correctly. Scammer alert. <laughs> of course it's a scammer alert. Hey guys, you want to be big famous? Head to bigfollows.com. Um, I think, doesn't, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong here, but doesn't Phoenix Wright take, well, I guess because it's localized, it, it both takes place in Japan and America. I don't fucking know. It takes place in make-believe land. Japanica. Uh... Knocked at me out during the crime with the blow to back the head. I can prove it wasn't him that did the buzzard. How the fuck? I don't think I could. I don't think I can prove that. Because there's no fingerprints on... There's no fingerprints on it. He... Is he wearing gloves? I mean, Mass the Mass wears gloves... At me wears gloves, right? But he is wearing the Mask to Mask outfit. And that has gloves by default, am I right? Storm entrance. Does that have gloves by default? Let me see. Where's the picture? It does have gloves by default. Okay, shit. I don't think I'd be able to prove that. I can prove that it wasn't Kane that sounded the buzzer. I'm really trying to think on this one. Uh, the buzzer went off. Bounce of the crime connected. There's no fingerprints on it. Got uh, the first heist. Cerebral hemorrhaging from blood trauma to the head. In Japan, because Japan doesn't, uh, didn't have a jury until a uh, jury. My bad. A jury until 2010. Really? Oh shit. That's why a jury doesn't do anything here. Hmm. There's a Phoenix Wright anime. Don't remember if it was Japan or America. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter if it was Japan or America because they could have just localized it, right? You know, in the American version, they could say America. In Japan, they could say Japan because there's nothing that really gives it away. They don't they don't talk about exclusive holidays or anything. They do talk about Christmas, but I mean, Christmas is still celebrated in Japan. Not as not as much as it is in America, but it is. Uh, fuck. I really. I don't think I can prove this. No, I'm not ready yet. The defense admits there's no evidence to the contrary. Uh, contra uh, yeah, whatever. It's possible that the victim himself sent at the buzzard. Huh. Possible. More like definite, Mr. Trite. Which means only two people were there at the crime scene after all. The victim came Bullard and his killer, Mr. Delight. Come on, Nick. Can't prove that the real killer was there? This trial is good as finished. <laughs> they gave me one hit. They said, all right, fucking Maya, come on. Piece of evidence proves that it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzard. Warehouse camera went off around 1 a.m. on the night of the crime. Uh, let's see. Let I me mean, where it took place. I don't know if that's helpful. Okay. I assume it would be Japan, right? And it definitely would be Japan, so. Can I just say I love the music that's playing right now? Fuck! See, if it, if it would have said it was instantaneous, that would help, but I don't think the death was instantaneous. I was on the right train of thought, really? <sighs> Fine, I, I guess then. Oh, wait, my bad. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. I was on the right train of thought. The question is, we're trying to prove that, uh... Prove that it wasn't the victim. They just kept saying victim, and they weren't saying the name. Yeah. Uh, they were making arts directly to judge, and not the jury. It definitely is in America. Exactly. Yeah, you're right about that. You're 100% right about that. Um... Yeah, I would- they kept saying victim and they weren't saying names, so in my head I was thinking that they were talking about fucking, uh, Ron, but they're talking about Bullard. So yeah, no fingerprints. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. I was just thinking- uh, God damn it. <laughs> I believe this is the piece of 
in, in, oh, fuck, in control, eh. words, that's a big word, incontrovertible, oh god, I can't say it, fuck it, whatever, it's, it's evidence, here you go, look, look at it, I'm a lawyer, not a fucking linguist, <laughs> the emergency buzzer, is there some kind of clue on it, absolutely not, absolutely not, <laughs> hey, come on now, at least give us, give some thought of what you say before opening your mouth. The fact that there is absolutely no clues, itself is a clue. Now I'm the one who's clueless. This button has no fingerprints on it. If Mr. Bullard had really trusted himself, naturally, he would have left his fingerprints behind. Objection! Objection. Ron's delight obviously wiped them off. Why would he? A guard could have come at any moment. He touched that button, I know he did. The defendant, Mr. Delight, was dressed as Master Mask. And Master Mask always wears gloves. What reason could he possibly have to wipe the button free of fingerprints? <laughs> 17 cups of trial. <laughs> order, order. Huh, it would seem. It would seem. I've been forced to eat crow. I wonder what plain number cough, crow flavor coffee is. However, if the real killer was there at the scene, why would the person press the emergency buzzer? To fucking pin the crime on him. Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in extra danger? Did they hide behind the bookshelves? What's with the awkward silence all of a sudden? Hmm. Looks like you're fresh out of parlor tricks. Hmm. There's a bench trials and <laughs> blanking on the other one where there isn't a jury. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> They're on to you, Nick. Just give me a minute to collect my thoughts. The real culprit can- oh, shit. Let's try not in game over here. The real culprit killed Mr. Bullard at around 1 a.m. Mr. Delight just happened to waltz in when the murder was taking place. The killer clobbered Mr. Delight and then sounded the buzzard. Even though security was supposed to respond right away if the buzzard was pressed, security was supposed to respond. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Let's hear what you have to say. Very well then. No. Oh, you got some guts. I like that in an opponent. Why did the real killer sound the emergency buzzard? To call the security guard. The killer knew that if they pressed that button, a guard would come running. And that was exactly what they wanted. Do you mean to say the killer called the guard on purpose? Yes. I thought as had low, although as it turned out, he never showed up because he was getting his clock cleaned at. Let's <laughs> get his clock cleaned at the time. Huh? What a touching story. You're saying the killer had to change a heart and called the guard to turn himself in? No, I'm not. When the buzzard sounded, there were three people in that office. The victim, Kane Bullard, who was already dead. The defendant, Rhonda Light, who was out cold. And the third person, the real killer. Hypothetically, yes. Now then, in this situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? The only ones left in the room would be the victim and Rhonda Light. And... And if, it, if any security guard came running in at that time, they would think that I was the murderer. Yes, that was precisely the real killer's objective. To frame Ron Delight for the murder. Wow. <laughs> Dramatic much? This piece of evidence contradicts the reload save. <laughs> Exactly. He's like, wait a minute. Hold up. Forget that. Can we? Can we take? Can we rewind it?
Rewind the tape. It would seem... I've been made to eat my words once again. Actually, you've been made to do a spit take with a cup of coffee. Mr. Wright, who was it? Okay, $15 Fortnite card. Who wants it? <laughs> uh, who was it <laughs> who tried to frame me? Wait a second. I'm the one and only Master Mass, so... Nick, I mean the real killer is... We're gonna drag that person in here right now. But who is it? I don't have any solid proof yet, but think about it. The killer knew Mr. Delight's identity, and they also knew that he's been called at KB security that night. <laughs> Time to save. Listen, just give me just give me some health back when I get it right. That's all I ask for. So the killer used him to execute a well-crafted plan to murder Kane Billard. <laughs> Don't do that, please. Uh now then, let's hear your accu accusation, Mr. Wright. Was it that friend, Mr. Ron Delight, for the murder? It was his wife. There you go. Bring him in here. Detective, look at me. He's the only one who could have done it. Ace Detective, look at me. You mean, Master Mass did it? Your Honor, the person being tried in the court next to us is not Master Mask at all. He is, in actuality, the true murderer of Kane Bullard. Order! Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Theft and murder, which is, which is a more serious crime. They're not even close. Murder is the more serious crime, of course. It's a capital crime subject to capital punishment. Please remember the trial from yesterday, if you would. Desiree still haven't shown up. Listen, I'm telling you, they're in cahoots. They're sitting there. They sat there in class together. The teacher said, all right, who's, who wants to play cahoot? And they both raised their fucking hand. And then one of them put, I'm the thief. And the other one put their username as, I'm a murderer. <laughs> which is which you decide. When Look At Me confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. Of course, famous detective was a mask as well. Mask the mask. Instead of being convicted of murder, he was found guilty of grand larceny. That was his true objective all along. To be found guilty? Master Mash had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. He was stealing the urn at Lordy Taylor. In other words, being found guilty as Master Mask was Luke at me airtight, watertight, and un <laughs> and unsale oh my god, unsale goddamn unsaleable alibi. Am I saying that right? Unsaleable alibi? Unsalable? Something like that? The guilty verdict has an alibi. You know, it's almost time. For what? For Luke Atme's verdict. It was a pretty simple trial after all. It was going to stop this trial and stall that <laughs> If we're going to stop this trial and stall that one, we need to do it now. Of course. And that's assuming you have proof that the detective was the one who committed the murder. Oh, fuck off. Mr. Luke Atme's trial has indeed attracted the attention of the entire country. If we were to intrude and fail to provide adequate proof of his true crime, Mr. Delight would be left with no grounds for appeal. Am I really sure about this? I'm positive. I bet... <laughs> a bet's only good when your life is the ante. Mr. Wright, I believe in you! Mr. Delight. So, please... I'm begging you! Thanks, but... My decision will determine the rest of your life. Can I really risk your life like this? Of course I can. <laughs> your dad doesn't care about the guilty verdict, he actually wants justice. Exactly. Phoenix. Oh shit, I'm getting after flashes. <laughs> Maya Kenobi, is that you? <laughs> Not Maya, my bad. Mia. I keep getting the names mixed up. Mia Kenobi. We have Pearl Patine and Mia Kenobi. Oh my god, Mia Kenobi. 
I'm taking that. Nobody steal that. <laughs> Mia Kenobi. <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix. Use the force. And stop using all my fucking hair gel. <laughs> uh, it took me until the end of the trial to figure out that there was a pun at look at me's name. Really? <laughs> I figured it right away. The moment he said, he said, I am Luke. Luke at me. Like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Don't stray, Phoenix. You will go to the Dagobah system. I will go to the Dagobah system. For your client, take the path. You will be trained by Yoda. You will be trained. You'll be trained by <laughs> Edgeworth is Yoda. Oh no. <laughs> Phoenix, you will travel to the prosecutioner's office. There you'll be trained by Master Edgeworth. <laughs> That voice, it sounds like... M Mia! Your Honor, the defense requests an immediate recess. Huh? So that's your answer, huh? Very well. I've decided as well. This court will now take a 20 minute recess. <laughs> stop. I can't stop, they're just... <laughs> oh my god, that means Phoenix is Luke! No! <laughs> And Maya, Maya for some reason is Chewbacca. <laughs> Cause she just fucking eats everything like a monster. Mr. Wright, when we return, please summon Mr. Luke at me to the stand. Yes, Your Honor. I'm keeping, I'm keeping Mia Kenobi. <laughs> Pain, really? Well, well, sir, Detective at me. Hmm. I have to say, Mr. Payne, you performed splendidly. Oh no, Sir Detective Atme. You were the one who... That's a nut- Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this man. That means Francesca is Princess Leia. Oh. Oh no. No, no, Francesca is Darth. <laughs> She's Darth. Because she has to be Darth, because fucking Gumshoe, Gumshoe's just a stormtrooper, and he gets scared whenever, <laughs> whenever he hears fucking Francesca coming, he's like, what's that sound? Oh, she's coming for me. I'll even say because the spoiler book of Dot's name has much depth and puns in it. I don't believe it. I'll figure it out. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. This court finds the defendant, Luke at me. Is that Beta Judge? <laughs> beta Judge. Don't hand down your verdict, please! Well, well, Sir Lawyer, welcome to my courtroom. Whoa! <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Who? I think that's a typo. I love how he's giving- he's staring directly into our souls. My name is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. And I wish to file an accusation against this man. Look at me. Accusation? You accuse Master Mask? That man is not Master Mask. He's just a ruthless murderer. Wh what? Nani? Oh yeah, I got you now, Waluigi. <laughs> it's, it's actually not a typo, really? Oh god. Who's this hoser? 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 Oh, man. Alright. Where does this leave us at? 12.14pm, District Courtroom, Defense Lobby number 4. My sister? You're telling me... <laughs> Mia Kenobi talked to you? Think he's Canadian, Judge? <laughs> uh... Also, welcome, uh, welcome, Pierce Flynn. Uh, my bad, Pierce Flynn. I can't fucking. I hope I'm saying that right, Pierce Flynn. I can't read. I'm sorry. I try my best. I'm illiterate. Don't blame me. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Hope everything's well for you. Good eyes is a 2D and 3D cross-platform source engine game. Oh. <laughs> Have a tiny rant about it when it's time. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, 
I would love to continue doing this, but this is the time that I have allotted for today, right? So, you know, thank you for everyone who came, watched live, who checked out the stream, and those watching the VODs and people on YouTube, try and catch it live. It's better that way, trust me. Uh, but, man, sorry, sorry for people who might have just joined the stream. Sorry to, you know, end it, but if you want, you can look at the VODs. If you also want, you can check some stuff on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, uh, later today, the full playthrough of, of Quartz Party Book of Shadows is going to get uploaded along with some other videos of other streams that we did, uh, like either one-offs or, um, little things like that. Um, <laughs> like, man, you don't look it up. Um, just as a heads up, again, uh, later on, at some point this month, hopefully, the, uh, emotes are going to be made and i highly recommend that you install the bttv extension on your browser if you're using a browser right to get the full benefit from that uh if you want and i think that is it next time we come back to the stream um next time we come back to the stream we're going to be playing more conception right fucking hang out with our waifus again and stuff like that so that's gonna be fun i'm gonna have fun doing that and i think that's it i don't think i have any other any other things to say <laughs> uh but yeah once again thank you guys for showing up if you if you are so inclined Please follow if you want to do that. I'm not going to force you. Uh, for those who want to sub, sub, I guess. I don't fucking know. I'm not, I'm not chilling for money, so it doesn't matter to me. And that is it. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I'm forgetting to say. And I don't think there is. But once again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching live. And I will... See you guys on the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and please do take care. I'm a chef what else should I be? Please don't take all